it was all these black guys. I'm not nah, I had like it. eight. I had like eight. Because they were black, black. Hey, man. Like, hey, yo, say the, yo, say the beef for the show, man. I don't We're have chilling. beef, man. Like, I'm, this is the I green love, room. Oh, you got beef. I live <laughs> my oh, life. Got... Jesus, fuck. Okay, listen up, guys. I love y'all very much. I'm moving over to Kick to do our Kick or Keep, because that's what we do on Kick is Kick or Keep. Okay. That's why it's called Kick or Keep. Okay, I love you guys. Be careful. Stay safe. You have no contracts, so you should just dual stream it. Um, oh, that is true. I don't have a contract right now. Nah, I bet I could invoice them for this anyway. They'll pay me. Fuck it. No, I am going over there. Get fucked. Go to kick. Kick that. Yeah. Be careful. Jesus. Also, happy Juneteenth, everybody. Don't forget. Fuck. Since Q is sick, that means I'm going to be solo hosting this again, huh? is leaving my shit. I really hate short no guys and I hate beards. Oh, hey, what'd you say? You hate beards? Yeah, I don't like beards. Why? Uh, yeah, whatever. Same. I'll just save it for the intro. Yeah, bro. Right. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Okay. What's up, Um. Um, we're missing two cameras, Canute and Lauren De Laguna. Uh, do you guys know how to turn them on? Canute? Or? Do That's I have to guy, right? at this very... Yeah, yeah, you have to have your fucking on camera on. Moment's a little tough, but in like five minutes, I can turn on my camera. What's, wait, are you like driving or something? Oh no, I'm walking my dog. I mean, she's you a white woman. Nice. She's always going to be late. What kind of dog? You know, what the world, the world always yeah. waits for them. Okay, true. Unbelievable. You got it wrong. It's not she's always going to be late. We're always going to be on her time. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then you know what they do, Fossil? They pull us always late and lazy. Those Mexicans and the black guys. True. Unbelievable. I, Unbelievable. I was not even invited. I'm crashing the party I'm anyway. Can I like, keep my... <laughs> what what kind of the dog do you have? Right here? <laughs> Um, we needed one more, okay? Everybody just calm the fuck down, okay? You guys are already unhinged. There's no reason to be this unhinged. Right now. Sorry about this that. is calm. <laughs> so, Lauren, what's with the 05? Fudge um, buddies! It's, I, I, I give people numbers to help me keep track of them. She, she'll get renumbered in a second, okay? Hold on. Okay. Yo, I'm, I have a, uh, listen, do you I'm have the Jewish, max amount of contestants? I, I have a good one. He kind of looks like a TikTok fugitive, except it's cooler. So. Oh, Al! <laughs> oh, no yeah. double ups this episode? Yeah. That'd be a cool little battle there, a little one-on-one. -on -one. No double ups? Is that what you said? Yeah. Like, this, guy's a lot of catch <laughs> this guy has a lot of catchphrases. I feel like he doesn't really say anything, and then he has cool catchphrases. Which like guy? Double up. Nice. Double up. Fossil that sounds, that sounds like entertainment. Our That's what that sounds like. Yeah, I need, a, I need some like catchphrases. E -E. That's facts, bro. 
Am I allowed? Can I say that? So, Jeff, what are you gonna do with Amazon? Jeff Bezos. Hello. Who are you talking to? Who's Jeff Bezos in here? Next to me, bro. Are you kidding me? Is that John C. Tau? Are, are you good? There is yeah, nothing like you. He looks exactly like Jeff Bezos, except he's not on Sarah. Oh, this TikTok fugitive. Okay, mine's set up weird. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I mean, well, I he's wanted by the look. FBI. I'm sure Jeff This Bezos is usually is who I get <laughs> instead of Bezos. This is usually who people say I look like instead. Captain Egghead? Or what is it? Is it um, the Sonic oh one? Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> It's I a noticed... Sonic one, right? <laughs> Bro, it's actually so good! <laughs> Are we supposed to be like allies? One of the I noticed on the, 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 Twitter, the Twitter image, it was like Civil War, so it's like this side versus that side. Are we going to be like teammates? Ooh. Yeah, I, I hail from the Carantosan ship. I'm a mercenary on it. I don't know on which one of y'all. I'm, uh, you know, I don't know what the fuck that's mean. They're in there, look for it. Where that motherfucker from. I think that space. they'll be able to protect me. Beards mean uh, masculinity, so. I'm, I'm yeah, you gotta carry the femoid for this whole episode, apparently. Yeah. What's I'm a femoid? Are you like, a, like a robot? <laughs> Wait, did you Are find you like it? a robot? Femoid? Yeah. Good job. Look, femoid is the closest thing. If you're asking me, they demon rib spawns. Oh my god, there you go again, dude. Is that all you got are cool little catchphrases? Demon what race. type of a fossilized tree are you? Evil fossil. A male quaking aspen. Hello? Mm -hmm. Pando! Oh shit! Yo, Knut. Yo, Ray? Hello? Knut, how much do you weigh? Uh, two... About a car and a half, bro. 235 maybe, 240. You're under six foot. Six one almost. Hmm. Do you know what we call How six one almost? So can you? Muscle? We call that six foot. And, we call sure. that six foot, okay? Hundred and we call it hundred and eighty four point five. <laughs> it's more. Uh, yeah, you really need that point five. <laughs> <don't> you? Okay. <laughs> you can just measure yourself in millimeters if you want, all right? Jesus. Do you want to train me, can you? Listen, you should always well. measure in centimeters. It sounds bigger. Yeah. Let's be real. Twenty centimeters sounds bigger than eight inches. True. Okay. What? Yeah, okay. Nice what? Yes. Why, why are you yawning all the time? What is that? Why don't you get some sleep or do get some? I get plenty of sleep. You, like, I'm not yawning. Just, just the problem is my brain is so huge and it just processes so much energy. I have to take in lots of oxygen sometimes to power it all. So I need to yawn a lot sometimes to keep it going. You know. Don't you just get that from breathing though? Is that why you yawn so much on mushrooms? That would make sense. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay. Cassie, it's a drug addict. Yeah, good. We like drug addicts here. Cassie, your mic is just, I don't even know how to describe it, okay? Like worse than Walmart, so fix that. No, yeah, it's a mic. mic. That's why. Why do you have, of all the mic? How could you? I didn't even know they sell mics that bad anymore, okay? <laughs> Lauren De Laguna, aren't you on like a don't $50 trillion like dollar property estate? You guys don't have some fucking Wi Fi 3.0 or whatever? What's going on up there? No, I'm not on a fifty trillion dollar estate. No. Okay, well your bandwidth oh, is coming through. Okay, like it's YouTube from 1997. So let me try. No, I'm on our Wi-Fi. Is it not? Is it still terrible? I, I there's like twelve pixels for you. <laughs> oh, well, I okay. need, listen, I need more pixels. No, we're fine. Don't worry. Okay. Oh my God. All right. Is this? Our, wait. Did we? Were we gonna have nine? How do? How did we lose one already? Is it eight? I think, I think Domo's gone. They ran away. John and I scared them away with the evil. Do you want me to get another person? Um. Wait. Where's? No well, no. Drag him off. He's in general lobby. Wait. Drag. Drag. Who? Oh, Domo. Oh, Domo. Domo. Okay. Let me message my buddy John Zerka so he can come on. <laughs> Domo. Zerka's on a. Uh, Domo's on a manic timeout right now. Okay. <laughs> ah. Okay. Is this better? Better. better. Oh. Good. Good. Oh, good job. You have How's a real microphone. Did you, were you just it's using the lapel one or whatever to fuck with us? Or? Um, no, I wanted to use the lav mic to trigger, trigger you a little bit. Okay. Actually. Well, good job. You did it. Okay. All right. We got webcams on. Dumb, uh, okay. We're all here. Okay. Everybody's okay. Nobody's about to disconnect. Nobody needs to go. Yeah. Go to the bathroom. Get a drink. Do what you need to do. Okay. Do some blow. Whatever you guys have to do to get yourself in shape and ready to go. Get that right now. You got 20 I, seconds. Okay. I have health issues. So if I disappear for two, for two minutes at a time, I'm getting up to pee. Sometimes I get to pee every 10, 15 minutes, but I'm here. Jesus. Okay. If, if I disappear, all, I'm doing it. all the, the old uh... men, so I have to do that. Fuck you. I'm kidding. Kid. I don't do drugs. Okay. 
All right. I see Lauren has found the real Wi-Fi. Good job. Evil Fossil was stepped away for a moment. That's fine. Okay. Good job, guys. Guys, pick up the energy. It's not a funeral. No, no. We've I mean? got. I've got the energy today. Don't worry. I'm here. No. Oh, no nobody has passed away. Don't nobody don't has worry, passed away. Okay. Have you seen PPL like where 981 for famous oh, for intentional nice. extreme reckless driving? I see a lot of these accounts. On Wait, can anybody hear me right now? Or did my Discord just crash? Based crashing Discord. Yes. Yes. King. And Mariah Islam is supposed to be charity. I made a charity stream. This motherfucker got 800 subs, didn't donate a single dollar. Who Not a single one. Wait, who, wait, 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 stop, stop. Who are you donating to? The kids, motherfucker! What kids? What kids? My kids? kids? My kids? My kids? <laughs> what, what kids? Exactly, what kids? Are they my which children? Wait, which kids? What what charity are you actually donating African to? African childs, bro. Yeah, African are you children. Just random African children? You're just giving money no, to random African kids? Yeah, It was I don't know. Can, I, I, I don't know them little niggas, man. What the fuck African kids? It's not my fault. Do, bro. What do they hey. do for you, bro? Well, wait, what are we saying? Are some African kids better than others? Why are we so <laughs> hung up on? Like, which yeah, ones get donated yeah. to? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, the starving children are better than Carantos. True, Both actually. Bomb. Yeah, that's why they need my donations. Huh? Listen, <sighs> they can take care of themselves. All you know, right. Survival of the fittest. Tell you rules. Rules. Okay, listen yeah, up. We'll go through them. We'll go through all of them. Uh, I'll Everybody? Do the I'll do the intros. Oh, okay. ready? Okay, Carantos doing the intros. Okay, good luck, guys. Uh, and I could only afford to do the intros oh, no. with my uh, low HP, you know what I mean? That's he fine. Karanto's here. Just low so you guys HP, want to be warned, he is my anti-vaxxer friend. He does Hard have COVID. Sad. There is a 22% chance that he will die. It affects minorities worse than other people, so <laughs> good luck. I don't have COVID, but I have something. They poisoned me at the airport. Anyways, let's do the intros, okay? <clears throat> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the fifth episode of Kick or Key. Today, we brought together... Um, you know, I mean, I believe this is the greatest 10 fucking contestants that we've had in the past five episodes. They'll all be going head to head in an elimination style debate show where you, the audience, gets to decide who to kick and who to keep. The rules of the show are very simple. We'll throw out a topic. You'll all be given 30 minutes to go at each other. Once the timer gets to zero. A straw poll will be put in kick chat and kick chat only. The contestant with the highest amount of votes gets to decide who to kick and who to keep between the two contestants with the lowest amount of votes. Now, if a contestant manages to get the highest amount of votes consecutively and for, you know, the uh, 10 IQ Andes uh, on the panel, that means, you know, back to back, right? Then the person with the What's second the highest team? amount of votes, right? They get to decide who to kick and who to keep. Now, the winner of this show gets, and this is a special episode, this is the fifth episode, gets $10,000 courtesy of Destiny over here, ladies and gentlemen. Or you could opt for the raid. It, it depends on what you like. Now, I'm paying that out to you, by the way, and uh, it's called uh, uh, Bosniak coin. It's a new cutting edge crypto. Uh, make sure you've got a Coinbase account to get paid. There you go. <laughs> With all can, that can being said, question? go ahead. How do we get points? From who? From chat, bro! Oh, come on, pay attention. Not From all chat? Wait, what? Or did he mention chat? points? Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. I was here. There are no points. I don't know why he said that. There are no points. He's, He's fucking with you. I didn't say points either. I didn't say points. I, I, whoa, 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 why are you trying to put it to me? He I didn't say points. He meant, he, meant, he meant IQ points. He needs more IQ points. Jesus Listen, Christ. there's no fuck. Whoa, 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 stop. There's no fucking point system over here. What the fuck are we talking about, guys? Listen, after the 30 minutes fucking, you know, elapse, meaning, you know, they get con con colluded, aka they fucking finish, then the fucking chat gets to vote who the fucking best contestant is, and that contestant gets to decide who to kick and who to keep. Is that basic? Anyways, with all that being, you know, said, I am your host, kick.com slash Karantos. That's Q-O-R-A-N-T-O-S. Joining me today is... Little Stevie Wonder over here, kick.com slash destiny. Guys, any more questions? Hello? Uh, yeah, real quick. Uh, the, the audience would like to make it clear that there is no cash reward. I don't know why Carranzo said that, but don't get salty as fuck at the end of the show. So go ahead. We got uh, that. Uh, yeah, like I said, he's... 
We don't want your boss neck. Or... He's a fucking stickler, bro. I mean, listen, guys. He, he fucking throws $50,000 towards the fucking stupidest memes. But he doesn't want to give you guys $10,000. I tried to look out for you, ladies and gentlemen. But that's fine. That's whatever. You know what I mean? Also, I would like chat to know that you could ask the contestants questions through Super Chats. A.K.A. $10 and up if you'd like to ask the contestants questions. And Lil Steve will be reading them later on down the line. Anyways, <clears throat> now that my intros are done, Lil Steve, take it away. Need more whores. Uh, take or it like away. Sexual attention. Did you clone yourself, Jaw? I'm not a whore. Um. Okay. <laughs> Guys, wait. Wh He's are, gonna so... marry a whore. Okay. Hey, listen. Like okay, all of you, you, we're introducing ourselves. Okay, starting in the top left. Lauren, do we do oh, these? Oh wait. Things? What? Wait. Yeah. 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 I okay. Oh I my God. What are you doing? Wait, out I, here? Forgot, I, forgot, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Listen, I'm fucking overheating over here. You know what I mean? My fucking brain is running on two percent. Okay. Damn. Okay. Top left corner, the one, the only, the Lauren, the Laguna. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Lauren De Laguna, and I'm on YouTube, Instagram, all the stuff. Okay. Great introduction, great introduction. To the right of Lauren, we have Casey Catnip. Oh, it's Cassie. It's fucking Cassie, like ass. Um, okay, ass. Cassie like ass. Ah. Yeah, yep. uh, I do YouTube, Twitch, uh, not so much anymore. Kick, all the things. Um, yeah, mushrooms are cool. You guys should all do mushrooms someday if you haven't. Really love the purple hair. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Love the hell Ladies and gentlemen, say no really to fun. drugs. To the right of Cassie <laughs> and above Mini Don B, we have a returning contestant, the one and only, the 550 year old fossilized tree, the DGG -er of the year, DGG. evil fossil. Go ahead and yeah. Yourself. Well, thank you for the introduction. I'd say only do the drugs if you can make it your goddamn self. I'm a 450 year old masculine fossilized tree. I have myriad seeds of wisdom and evil. What's your inquiry? There we go. Beautifully. Damn. Wait, set. what? Isn't Lauren a returning contestant? Why didn't you introduce her that way? Yeah, okay, yeah, I will. Okay, nice, dude. Okay, okay, dude. And next up, my, Harry Potter. Racist and racist. Okay, nice. Hey, one. what's up, guys? Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Yes, it is. Go ahead. Right, I'll go ahead and go next. Uh, what's up, guys? My name is Ja. Um, I'm a former athlete, former pro gamer, uh, ultra ego, omni bender, outlaw, outlier as well. I'd like to identify as that. Um, I hate uh, black people. I hate white people. Um, I don't really like fat people either. I don't like beards. I really don't like beards. Uh, and I hate short guys. And let's say blue hair. So. Jesus. Wow. And I'm really happy to be here. And also, all my winnings will be going to charity. I'll be donating to uh, Down syndrome kids with AIDS. So, was thank you that so much. supposed to be fun? Mini, finally, <laughs> you'll get some money. Okay. Below Lauren and to the left of Kanut, we have John. This Go guy ahead, could almost be like a Harley stand-in, right? Like if he would have introduced <laughs> him that way, I think like people would have believed it. Uh, hi, my name is John C. Stout. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Kick. I'm excited to be here. Curious to see how this goes. Since okay, can I just say something real quick? Yo, you got pretty eyes, man. Yeah, John, your camera's fucking you. amazing, by the way. <laughs> yeah, John, <laughs> John, can I ask a question? Yeah, the, monitor, the monitor beneath the camera, is that intentional to like create like this kind of like depth effect? or is No, it, it won't up? go any farther because I've got, I'm six foot two and I've got massively long arms. Really so. short, man. Oh my god, six foot two. You're way taller than Canute, who's not even six one over here. Speaking you of, you can my ass, so I'm fine with <laughs> Good <laughs> evening. I like the subsurface like scattering. Know the yeah. <laughs> okay, dickheads, shut up. We're still not done with the intro. To the right of John C. Stout. Okay, I think I got that correct. We have the apparently, allegedly six foot one bodybuilder of the live streaming world. The one and only. I'm, I'm, the I'm, 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 I'm... Good evening, everyone. Nice meeting you. I, uh, I'm not the bodybuilder anymore. I'm retired, uh, old. So I'm now I'm just uh, streaming. But uh, it, it's nice meeting you all. I haven't seen anyone before. Are, are you guys content creators as well? 
You really follow yeah. yourself, huh, man? No, but I haven't seen. That's the difference. What? I didn't. I am the content. That's the difference. And the cut. Yeah, yeah you guys are autistic. Are like this is the like. It, oh, it was just a nice yeah. little question. You could have just said yes. We're fucking live streamers. Okay. You're yeah, fucking I'm fucking I'm new cheaper. to this. I'm new to this platform. Kick. I haven't been uh, much on YouTube. This isn't my part. I don't. It isn't weird that I don't know all of these guys. No, Wait, it's can not, we... bro. We're all nobodies, and you're an OG of the game. Like, he's new okay. to the game. Mini, Mini, please wipe the cum off of your mouth, please. We do not accept glazing on this fucking channel. Uh, Kenu, did you get a, a deal to stream on Kick? Just curious. <laughs> okay, so here you yes. go with the glazing now, bro. Now you're I'm just, I'm just curious. Can I, can I get an answer? Hello, <laughs> Mini. Shut up. Yeah, you, go you can get an. Yeah, yes, I got a deal. Hourly payment. Okay, there we go. Uh, is it like two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars? It isn't much, okay, but it's better go. than uh, the ad revenue on Twitch. Damn. Okay, it's How either the ad revenue is terrible. Let's say the T-word no. here, man. How much okay. anabolic steroids do I need to get that? <laughs> You're okay. done. We'll get How to that later. Need? Below evil fossil, and to the right of Canut, we have the Mexican manlet. Mini! Go ahead and introduce yourself. Listen, you fucking Michelin-looking ass man. Shut the fuck up, bitch. All right, first of all, I'm mini motherfucking Dombey, right? I stream on Twitch. I, I'm streaming on Kick now. Uh, and Carantos, thank you for inviting me and uh, preparing this feast for me. Feast. Okay, great, great introduction. To the right of mini and below, Ja, we have the most wanted Gru lookalike. The man that is... Wanted by the FBI, the CIA, NSA, FSB, Interpol, the one and only, Mr. Chad Howard, aka the TikTok Fugitive. Go ahead and introduce yourself, please. Yeah, I know y'all think he's Josh here, but no, I am actually wanted by the FBI. I've been wanted for 17 years. I've been wanted by Interpol. I have an Interpol red notice. I've been through three extradition attempts from multiple countries. I have been picked up by the KGB FSB before. I don't know if I'm wanted by the NSA or not, but I did get a letter last week from the NSA saying they're probably watching me, so probably. What the fuck did you do? He's a hacker. He must be a hacker. Oh, uh, if you want to know what he did, you just need to tune into something. the last six hours of well, live stream. I am former Microsoft and a former Microsoft regional director as well. I'm really sorry, man. Damn. Sorry for whatever I did. So. Number nine. Number nine. One fourth of the great Let's Keep It a Bug podcast. Six foot five. Stallion. And no, I'm not talking about his height. I'm talking about his... the worry about it. We've got the one and only, Damo. What's cracking, y'all? It's your boy. Uh, your mom paid for me a nice snack. That's Damo from the best podcast in the world. Let's keep it a buck. Live stream on Kick. Live stream on YouTube. That's Damo everywhere. Spaces content creator is well over on Twitter. That's Damo. That's where you can find me. There we go. Now that we're done with the intros, guys, uh, DGG, come over to kick.com slash Carantos, okay? That's Listen, I'm not getting a Jordan fucking flu game performance for you niggas to not fucking glaze this BBC. Thank you very much. Uh, Lil Steve, uh, go ahead and carry it. Uh, before, we, before we go too far, before we go too far forward. Hello? Hey. Okay, chill out, okay? I would like to give a special shout out to Evil Fossil and Domo. Today is Juneteenth and today we honor you guys, okay? Thank you so much for being here. Okay, we're glad you guys made it, all right? Thank you. I'm all right. I didn't know put my schedule on there. Well, so hey, now, yeah. hey, I'm the host. When I'm talking, you don't talk, okay? Here's how it goes, okay? We get 20 to 30 minutes per round, depending on how bored I am. I will set the timer and the timer will count down at the end of the rounds. We, The audience will vote on who they want to keep. Whoever wins gets to vote off one of the two bottom people. We are beginning with the first question. I'm going to ask the question, people are going to give their answers, and then you guys are going to argue amongst yourselves to win favor amongst me, God, and the audience, most importantly, to determine who will win. Do we answer immediately or do we wait? No, we're going per person, okay? I'll give you, okay, chill. Jesus. No, 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 listen, listen. If you feel like somebody on the panel says something retarded, please feel free Didn't to Didn't we go, I thought we went per person last time. Didn't it work out well because then everybody gets a chance to answer? Or do we just go, do we just throw it to him? No, no, do they deserve it, like Destiny? Do they deserve the other a chance Okay, fuck it, I guess. We just... Okay. First one is a big one, okay? I, it, I didn't know this is Juneteenth, so this isn't supposed to be racialized for this, but oh well. Bro! Number one! 
OnlyFans is continuing to explode on the internet with more women signing up for it and more men paying into it. Even though it is increasingly seen as another way for individuals to make money online, there hasn't been very much conversation about the ethics of doing sex work, especially when it comes to choosing customers. Should it be okay for OnlyFans workers or sex workers in general to have specific preferences about the sexual orientation or race of the clients they take on? Or should they be compelled to treat everybody equally like people would be under ordinary U.S. law? Are we taking turns? Oh, no. Wait. Oh, no. Jump in. Stop, stop, stop. Shut the fuck up. Okay. First of all, we're gonna go through it like fucking one through nine, but what I'm trying to say is if somebody says something crazy, you just you know, you don't have to wait your turn to fucking respond. You could just fucking respond. Lauren, let's start with you. Go ahead. So with most businesses in the United States, you're required to not discriminate people based on uh, race. However, I'm not sure about sex work in Nevada, which I know is legal. I'm pretty sure you can discriminate based off whatever. I'm not sure they can make whatever choices and clientele that they want to make. And considering this is a form of sex work, um, I think that there would just have to be legislation. And then whether or not you're saying should, whether or not they should be required to versus whether or not they legally should be required the should to. should is a legal question. Yes. Let me clarify. Yeah. Um, I, it, it, no, I don't think anyone should, should be compelled to sell pictures of their asshole to anyone on the internet if they want to be selective, um, uh, racially. I don't see how I'm sorry, that... I can't listen to this fucking whitey, sh this, this money <laughs> whitey girl, white Literally, girl bro. nonsense. This is some bullshit. Because it's you're like you're complaining woman... with, sex, with sex work. The whole shit about this OnlyFans even being sex work, bro. It's not even comparable, bro. It's not. What if a like, black woman? I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about the legislation of these people doing that when you got like actual sex workers having to deal with like, oh, I don't want to deal with African Americans or I don't want to deal with no, like this, this is a real true. thing, right? Can I ask you real. An evil fossil? What if a black woman was getting like a lot of customers who are all white objectifying bro, it's her the being internet. black? It's fucking. Would, we, it would she be it's allowed to packets. discriminate and say I do not want any white clientele? Yes, yeah, sure, well, but she also isn't getting any money. No, it's like all like, about the, the content fuck? of your character bro, and bro. how you're treated. Like judging anyone based off like race alone, I don't want to deal with this race. Is racist. Like so, it's, it's like how yeah. someone treats me regardless of their skin yes, color, their orientation, whatever. Like, I don't racist care. Racist fuck. I don't know. We're not arguing whether or not it's racist. It's legal to be racist. Legal. It's illegal to um what? To require. It is legal to be racist. It's illegal for shops to operate racist like for instance it's illegal for a hotel or a restaurant to not serve people on the basis of race however but this is the independent like, contract the anti segregation this isn't a movement yeah. though like I'm, oh, I'm she treats her body like a shop can I say why would any other why would any other con like all they are is content creators why are they separated from any other content creators rules right like the, the youtuber telling me I don't want black people watch my YouTube videos is the same shit as some girl on OnlyFans talking about she don't want Somebody it's not on. the same thing. It's the same shit. Nah, it's, it's the same not thing. the same shit. I don't well, have to pay like any money on YouTube. Yeah. I can just yeah. type in whatever, and YouTube recommends anything. Same when it comes to OnlyFans, them. that is a paid link. If they, these are independent contractors. At the end of the day, this isn't a nine to five. This isn't a business. Yeah. If she feels like, even if she, if it is a black woman with a majority white audience paying her for shit, if she feels like, hey. F that. I don't want any of these white boys watching my body. She can do that. She's going that's, to be broke. That's the her whole thing about that is that's that on yeah. her. She reserves that right. These are independent contractors. Mm. Nah, that's I think the reason why is because of that, then that's like the the like abusive character that she can like cut off. But if it's just like I thing. don't know, like a white person who's treating her with respect and not objectifying her because or fetishizing her because of her race, I think that's like different. And so, like, for her to be like, oh, yeah, I don't want any white people watching me, I think that's, like, leaning towards a line where it's, like, I don't know. That's morals. That, that's your morals. And right now, yeah, I guess the, law her, I the law isn't The law isn't moral. Yeah, we're talking about laws. Yeah, we're talking about law. We're not talking about morals. We're talking about the law. And if we're talking about the law, I do not see how there's supposed to be some extra Listen. level of like accountability that these people are supposed to like have over I their content. The content creator, you can block the whoever you want for whatever reason though honestly here's like, the thing here's the thing okay here's the thing she's a hoe okay and she's trying to make money if she wants to make less money let the 
make less money, all right? That's a fact. All, I was gonna That's say, a fact. At the yeah. beginning, I was going to say, you can't be a hoe and then also racist. Choose one, motherfucker. But hey, listen, no, you, you want to be a hoe, racist, yeah. and make less money? Okay, go ahead. Make less money, you dumb bitch. So you don't think there is any hoeish Nazis? Oh, they definitely are, but they're not getting the paper. They're not getting the paper. Yo, right? listen, Minnie. Listen, Minnie. I knew and I know a lot of women who in real sex work who have to be racist because they literally get their ass beat mm -hmm. when they when they open yeah, up that access to that I money and that clientele. Only fans, it's not the it, same. It, it, this is a metaphor for something that happens every day. Only fans, not the same. This is a metaphor for something that happens literally every day. Cassie, I have a question for you. Yeah. So in Nevada, it's legal oh. to be a sex worker, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think those sex workers should be required to service any clientele who come to their door? No. no. I don't think any, like, massage therapist, like, you know, any business like that should be required to service, like, people in such, like, a intimate way. That's, like, they don't want to do that. So, yeah, if they want to be you know, discriminatory or whatever, you know, they can, I guess, legally do that. But oh, wait, 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 host, 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 wait, host, 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 just real quick to guide the conversation. Okay, real quick. Everybody here agrees that you should be allowed to be discriminatory. The question is whether you should be allowed to be discriminatory on the basis of like protected class. So race, sexuality, sexual orientation, whatever. Okay, continue. If it's like solely based off that, I think that's really cringe. But as far as like a legal standpoint, like, um, I don't know. It, it's a sticky situation, I, I guess. They're gonna do it anyway. It's not, just like, it's just like Jews, just it's, like it's some, some people, people still don't but, uh, how... There was like that, what was it, like the, the baker that wouldn't bake a cake yeah. because they were like a gay couple or whatever. Like they Baking could legally a cake do that, but they got, you know, like blasted online. <laughs> they're still whatever. gonna do it regardless. It's about whether or not we're gonna put it into when law. When someone comes and inside you and baking a cake is very different. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. What's different? really you come inside. There's a really interesting legal I, thing that I learned. Um, so with if you're a landlord and you have a lot of residences, you're not allowed to discriminate on the basis of race. You're however, still going to. However, if you have less than if you have a unit that has only four a house only has four units and you occupy one of those units and you're not advertising that oh, you're discriminating. She's got three holes. So. You actually are allowed to so and it's the law does that because if you have personal racist beliefs, they don't want you to be in like intimately connected with some like force yourself to be intimately connected with somebody of the opposite race if you're racist. So when it comes to sex work, I almost wonder if that's where the legal line might Are be. Are you really going. trying to tell me Listen, that you know, race is in power? That when a racist person has power, that the law is going to stop them from enacting their racism? Are you really going to try to... No, like, if, like for instance, if there was... So if there's an Irvine company around here and they own a lot of apartment complexes, if... Uh, if every time a black person applied to Irvine complex... I don't know what you're nine, talking about yeah, complexes. There would absolutely be a lawsuit against the Irvine complex for being racist because... A and lawsuit? That's not, Hold on. That's Do you think some hood nigga really gonna be able to have a lawsuit or, or enact a lawsuit or know when they're getting discriminated against? That's some hood ass dude? Even a bringing up a lawsuit is, is, a, is a level of classism that doesn't exist for the real hood nigga that you up okay, against. Yeah, actually, we are comparing yeah. apples to peanut butter right yeah. now. What are you doing? <laughs> But, nah, but the whole thing, of. it is apples of peanut butter. You're right, because Lauren, I'm telling you, sex workers and online discourse, online content different. creation, sex work is completely different. It's a, yeah. a thousand so different. It's, but okay, oh, so you so can not have legislation so that hold you on, can hold stop on. your pixels from no, being take, shown on the screen. Take it away from, take it away from sex right. work. Take it away from sex work. Just look at this content creation. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, a Twitch streamer, a kick streamer, a YouTuber, they reserve the right to do content with whoever they want to. If there was a Twitch streamer that said, you know what? I don't want to do no content with nobody that don't look like me. They can do that. Now, you can call them right or wrong, <laughs> but they are they, they are legally allowed to. They can do that if they uh, want. They These would be banned pretty fast. No, we're saying, <laughs> don't you're saying, you're you're saying, you're saying if it was not legally enforced, they will not be banned. They, I promise you, you they yes, yes, they would be banned. You won't be banned for what? You're not being wrong. You just no, you're talking about content creators, but OnlyFans, I don't think they get banned for that shit. Listen, two things, oh, right? right? There's Twitch. one. Yeah, I know. Twitch, real... yeah, streaming. Could, I can see they that They might like Twitch. force a refund or something. There's but... two different it's things. Kind of one. One. If, you, if I sat here, genuinely, if I sat on kick and said, not even said, if I went about my kick stream and saying, I'm only streaming with black people, as long as that was seen to anybody, that would... There's nothing legal, legally wrong about that. Ninja did that. Ninja did that. 
platform to support that. you saying that. that. Girls? It she had a ninja not streaming with women? Ninja did that. He yeah, said, he I'm not streaming with women, and he didn't stream with women. All right? And it went well for him. So two things. One, prostitution is a different thing to what these online hoes do, okay? Like racist. Yeah. There's some overlap. I don't want them there having power. Hold on. Though. I don't want them holding power, right? If you give them a little bit of fake power, they get they lose real power. They lose acquisitional power, right? They lose money. All for racists being poor. If there's some Nazi bitch that don't want to have a Mexican guy jerk off to her, go ahead. Less money for you, you racist dumb con. It's I've simple. never heard of this happening within the industry, by the way. True. I've been in it for eight years. I've never heard of someone. Well, in, but how, in, in the sex worker industry. Well. Well, well, first of all, how, how the fuck would you be able to know uh, the race <laughs> or uh, sexuality <laughs> of uh, the buyers? Basic bitch question. True. Well, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Unless the platform is enforcing it for you. We've been talking about racist. What about like someone gay busting inside you and you're a dude? Is it fucked what? up to not let a guy like get inside you? Wait. We've been talking about race a lot. What about sexual orientation? I mean, if you're, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you're queer right? baiting, if you're queer you're baiting, that's about wrong. That, I'm not gonna lie to you. You can't queer bait. That's so wrong, bro. If you're putting that ass out there for dudes to jack off to, bro, hey, you might as well let them in there. But if you're not, if you draw nah, that get line, the fuck out of here. You mad double standard right now, bro. Get out of here. <laughs> no, there's no double standard. Get out of here, son. If there's a guy out here queer baiting, Hey, bro, I feel morally. Hey, man, you better stop you stop dangling. Like, it, let him in, right? Here. Let him in type shit. That's but okay. if you I brought it up, like, bro, I don't want guys doing that. Get, get out, out of here, bro. Nah, get out of here. We're talking about concentration. I'm even considering letting my strong hang, bro, but no. Ain't no. And viewers? None of that coming anywhere near, bro. It's money that I should be able to make, just like he said. If I want to, if I want to, um, record about people well, being upset about to, unknown people watching them in unknown places that they don't even know if they're watching them or not. The mm. only person who could, the only people who could know is the platform. That's why the question in general is: Should we support these people, or should the legal legislation that allows people to ban other races? Like, what did Dr. Kimo say? They don't consuming you your to content. Your That's you bullshit. On either side. Here's the thing. If you were creating content in a different way, like instead of online, like if you had a theater. If you had a pussy and you was out there letting dick get inside of it. Yeah. Well, that's like, different. If you had a music, like if you had a music. She can't take the BBC. Right? I think she's talking huh? more like a, burlesque, like a show. That's okay. Like, right? Can't take it. Yeah, no, no. If you had just like a normal musical theater performance, you wouldn't be allowed to say, "Okay, we're not having black customers come in." That would be absolutely yeah. illegal. So now with streaming, just because it's online, if you started streaming and then you kicked, assuming it wasn't against terms of service, I don't Phil, know. You Lord, would be considered illegal about the very real reality. Every single of viewer who you recognize as black, I think that would be uh, the same. Of a, you know what no AA is, right? R real, real, and actual sex work. I'm a little bit evil. I'm sorry. I got this knowledge, all right? Told you I got myriad C's of these shits. No AA, no African American is a very real thing in sex work. Real sex work. A mm -hmm. very, very real thing. We're back to peanut butter. Where at? You have work. experience? Yeah, but why do we even? <laughs> Why do we dealing even compare with, it to real sex stores? They're, fil they're having a mobile filming their pussy and ass or dick yeah, or whatever that is. You can't compare it to having sex with anyone. That's Deciding just stupid you, anyway. Exactly. You and if I was an escort, how about escorts, right? How about on, on seekingarrangements.com? These kind of websites where people where they have listed no African Americans because African Americans are cheap. They try to get the, they try to get more than what they pay for. They don't tip, and they got big ass dicks, and they always trying to be mad aggressive, Whoa. and it sucks because that means they can't make money after they fuck them. Yeah, we're this is a different fuck. situation. <laughs> Yo, yeah, if, if they're aggressive and they don't like respect it's, like the the worker's body, I think that's a I'm different like, thing. Like, right? Like, and real I'm life saying this is different why you can't conflict. This is why yeah. you can't conflict. Yeah. Like, this is no I get what you mean. It's not, not even close. Listen, Lord, Ninja. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Basically, Ninja was basically a whore. He sold himself, right? Why the he fuck are you talking was. about Ninja? Because that's what he did. He didn't. He's stream not with a women. sex worker, motherfucker. 
But listen, I'm not so You tried to you tried to complete. We're talking about sex. We're content creation. Yes, you're trying to we need to play Fortnite with kids. Work. You're trying to conflate real sex work with, with fake sex work with on the fake internet. Online online shit. It's literally pictures, bro. We're that's about to have AI. I'm about to have the entire point of the argument though. Into a fucking sex worker. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. We'll never see my friends on OnlyFans. Y- y'all are really missing it, Lauren. I get what you mean in terms of you get the you you don't get to choose who, you can choose who you work with. You don't get to choose who's like purchasing the content. But in this line of work, you actually can. Not you every can. person. Oh, you not, can't. Not every, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't listen if you're talking. This is crazy. If you <laughs> if you do OnlyFans, you get a OnlyFans link to get people to your page to pay for that link. Correct. Okay. If you don't want a certain demographic of people, a certain type of people doing um going to your content. You can regulate who gets the who gets the link. You can yeah, regulate who gets anime the profile like, pick. How the great. fuck do you yeah, know? If I got a thousand dollars in an anime not, profile pick, how the fuck do you know? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, again, again, a lot of people are waiting to talk. No one is actually listening. There are plenty of sex work, plenty of OnlyFans women promote their business, their bodies on Twitter. On Twitter, if I'm giving out the link. I can literally decide which person gets the. If I look at your account and I can't decipher if you're black or white, and I'm like, well, fuck it, you're not getting it. She can do that. There's nothing I, illegal about that. Now it just comes down the culture. It's possible. Now it just comes down the culture. Now it just comes down to how you can represent yourself, bro. We're talking about a person who wants to be in the public eye. Yeah, but that's not what I'm saying. We're talking about a person who wants to dictate who's getting their content. In this situation, you reserve their right, and it, it's very possible. This isn't like a YouTube oh, channel no. or yeah. Twitch the channel. Whether it's right or wrong, whether, the, the, whether, it's whether, right or wrong. whether or not you're capable of doing it is so different than whether or not it's legal. So I'm asking you, if a bunch of black people d- all looked at each other's phones and then linked and noticed that she denied all of them, but then they got their white friends and she said yes to all of them, and they took that evidence Where to court, would they from? legally Y'all win in court? Even though they were legally win in court, no. Is it legal? I think it's this, legal. Yes, it is legal. I think it's legal. Yeah. I think it's legal. Or I think it's conflating. I think it's like conflating. It's weird, but it's legal. It's Domo, weird, here's the legal. thing. Domo, yeah. here's the thing. I, I want you to understand that the the question is that should the platform or should the the system itself support this? Right, as in. If we was to legalize it, like she said, how can you even tell? We would, if we was to actually support it, we would need to have something that says, "Are you a black person?" And you would need to click that shit, and then you wouldn't know beforehand whether or not that will exclude you from what the does content. That matter, though, we're just assuming that we would know. Yeah, who's doing that shit? It will kill the person. It our whole point. Me and many the whole point is that you can't do that online. Like all you're doing is creating a cultural divide, yeah. not a racial one. Because Who all cares? this is OnlyFans. Y'all are you way deeper yourself? than when it needs to be. This is OnlyFans here, people. This isn't something life for. This exactly. Isn't life you're for right. Exactly. This That's why you that should be no, so trying to be racist. Legal should not be supported here. online, bro. bro. If we don't want to show our pussy to niggas, don't let us show our pussy to niggas. It is fine. No one's asking for you. You're saying the same thing as niggas is seeing her pussy. Niggas is seeing her pussy, bro. Listen, niggas is seeing her pussy. If an actual sex worker did not want niggas to see her pussy, they would never do it. But if you online and you own fans, niggas is seeing your pussy, bro. If you want to. If if she blocks you, listen, evil. Evil, if she blocks you for being black, buddy, just message me. I got you. Yo, I got the anime profile picture alt account. Don't worry, son. I'm oh, in here. Wait, I'm wait, wait, that wait guys, guys, hold on, hold on. I want and I'm, I'm, I'm getting that extra. Fossil, I'm getting... fossil, stop. Okay, Mr. Chad, aka TikTok fugitive. I want you to get on. I want you to get in on this. You know what I mean? You've been a little too silent. You know what I mean? What's your opinion on all of this? I was waiting for a proper turn. I didn't enjoy the shouting match, so I was getting already a chance to air. Go ahead. Out. But if we're focusing specifically on the narrow topic and not straying into sex workers and cake bakers, and we're only talking about OnlyFans, first of all, it's it's pretty impractical, as many of you have brought up. You know, I, I have 172,000 followers, TikTok followers, and I don't know the race of probably almost none of them except the few I communicate with uh, personally. And if you're that kind of person that, you know, you don't want white people or you don't want black people or whoever watching you, well, you got some issues, first of all, because, I mean, they're not touching you. It's not the same as sex work. And even if you could figure it out, why would those people want to be around a racist anyways? It's like, you know, if if you go into a place that, say, it doesn't want Chinese people or whatever, okay, 
and but the law says you have to be in there, but it's very clear that they don't want you. I mean, they might put something in your food or anything. It's generally not a place. And I, I say that the market can largely take care of this in this day and age, and we can just punish those content creators by shaming them publicly. I have a question. Uh, I feel like there's a plenty of ways to figure out if somebody is racist or not, just because they're not openly saying it. Like you can interact with certain people in a weird way and just uh, just be uncomfortable around them. There's like so many other ways to see if someone's racist aside from just saying I'm racist or I'm not racist. Yeah, but in something like OnlyFans, I mean, aside from somebody watching them, you're basically putting on a show. And yeah, you're getting comments stuff, but unless somebody brings up their race, it's not like an OnlyFans creator is going to go out and ask everybody like a sign up form. Give me your X number of dollars. And by the way, the what question, race? The question you? is, should they be able to do that or not? If they did do I don't that, think it's a practical really issue at all because I don't think that there is an effective way to do it whatsoever. And it's exactly. just, it's a movie. They could copy your stream and put it anywhere else. Like all it will end up out, doing is supporting and all that will is a lethal weapon. All that will end up doing is supporting the racist only fans, racist axioms. It will just support their racist axioms, bro. It will, but in their mind, they will be thinking you see how it's possible. they're getting you support. See how it's practically possible when you have it's that many right. followers. I have 172,000. I don't know how many y'all are. Saying, saying it's not possible. I mean, yeah, pretending it's possible. How many, how many followers? Possible. How many followers? I'm sorry. I'm on TikTok, 172,000. Mm. I'm under 73,000. So congrats. It's not okay, a wait, thing, bro. guys, wait, wait, guys. I, I want to take it, uh, you know, to a different direction. You want to take it a little bit? Well, pause. Okay, take relax, away. buddy. Okay, relax. Okay, James Charles, please hit me up. Anyways, guys, do you think that preferences could be racist? I'm curious. I would like yeah, to know. listen, I've watched some pornos. Yeah. Hey, depends all right, on how they're where, expressed, I'd say. Listen, I've watched some pornos where the girls are like, yeah, fuck me, you fucking ding, ding, ding. And I'm like, yes. oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I I've like, that that's, that's like that's like ninety percent of girls. Not, let's I'm be like, honest. Hard, no, because like that's not my place. But other like like black men have asked me to do that, and I'm like, nah, yeah, I I Wait, can't. But, but, I what's that? Work. As in like call them the n-word? Yeah, exactly. Race play. Um, I don't yeah, think I don't fuck with that. Yeah. You know what race is. Yeah, there there it's are some content creators race. that will go in that trajectory, but I don't. Um, Can I have a question? question? I, have a, I have a question for you. Who, who, what kind of fucking people are you uh, friends with or basically? That's pretty friends friends that's Jesus Christ. That's You'd be surprised normal. how many niggas like that. Who said that's pretty normal? It's John. Like, like with kink, it's like, uh, you know, power and Bro. submission. It's like some people want to submit and that turns them on and that's what they like and they want to do it in that specific way. But I just, I don't feel comfortable having that specific type of power. Okay, I'll, wait, I'll I've got a question for you. Like you kind of racist, that. bro. I wait, Cassie, know. Cassie, hold on, hold on. Cassie, I've got a question yeah, for you. If you don't, do, do, they put, uh, to, do they put like a whip in your hand too and hold ask on. you to like whip them? I think that if you don't do it, you're racist. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. 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 Mm. No, I would get S -word, SW Twitter would fucking rip me apart if that clip was anywhere. Like, oh, you you like like that's that's comfortable bro. doing that during sex. That's very possible as well. She's just not comfortable doing that. Oh, There's plenty of things people aren't comfortable with. But why is she comfortable not being comfortable doing it? Is yeah. different. Do you put yeah, do you sure. let women put anything in your ass? Wait, wait. Let me ask this. If, let me ask if, this. Fossil and Buddy Below Fossil. You having sex with a girl? It's missionary or person of your choosing. It's missionary. They want to put a finger in your butt. Are you okay with that? Whoa. Hell no. Where, where this is this go? Oh, but, but you're, uh, hey, you wait, but you're not the question, bro. There we go. You're not coming yeah. across. No, it's, no, right. it's different. That's all right. If, 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 here we go. All right. No, wait. I see what you're saying. But if I didn't want to do it because I was uncomfortable with something in my butt, it's different than saying I don't want someone putting anything in my butt. Those are two it, different things. Nah, those two different things. Wait, wait, hold on. And she's dude. uncomfortable. She's uncomfortable because some some black guy is like, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to role play as my ancestor. I don't want to. Yeah, but play. what if she's I'm like, but what if she's like, I, I'm uncomfortable with that because I think that you should value yourself. Why are you going more that deep with it? Why can't no, she that's not she's hard, doing I'm saying if she's doing that. Then she's being racist. She's a, she's yeah. in a hot. She's on a yes. high horse, bro. She's like, putting herself above him. She's, she's put, like, him. like she's supposed to know what it's like for him to manifest his race in a sexual manner, bro. Like, yeah. what the fuck is she talking about? 
Only if she is Love uncomfortable for, for playing me, that role. Like, she's, she's protecting she's the black the man. Like, she's protecting the black man because he needs protection. Okay, exactly. Okay, that makes some it some people need will to come to me. Black ass. Come to me. Me. Some people will Put come up for like fin dom things, so and they will weird. literally spend their life savings like doing fin dom shit. That's where I also draw the line because it's like, bro, I don't feel comfortable. You know, being in that position where you're literally like, uh, I don't know. Dominate it, or is it because they are weird? Which one? Well, Listen, they deserve sometimes it. Sometimes people will be so like into the kink that they don't, they don't fucking. Dude, you're touching them. No, bro. you're bullshit. <laughs> no, you're it's bullshit. Not... No, you're being prejudiced, right? If it was a, if it was a fact of you not wanting to dom someone, that's totally fine. But if you're sitting there saying that they're too into their kink. Or that they don't fully understand why that kink should be in sex. That's your problem. Well, that's no, 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 no. I'm saying many. they I can have a kink. Many. I just don't well, want to fulfill that kink because that's my moral confrontation. Like I don't want to do that because I oh, feel yeah. comfortable in that position. The kink. It's a. It's. It's an act. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Evil. I don't evil. Have evil. To fulfill everybody's kink. Hold on. Hold on. Evil. I got a question for you, and then we're gonna go not, over to Jock because he has a yeah, question for Mini. Yeah. Okay. One second. Evil. Do you believe that you know? Maybe there sure isn't is. a king that exists that should be shamed. Oh, like, they oh, definitely bro, shamed. come on. So of course there's some like what well, you want me. I'm oh, just yeah. talking about like bro, but I'm gonna get mad more of it. I'm gonna get, get really okay, 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 so, okay, perfect. No, no, perfect. Let me let me throw out a question to the fucking cast, okay? If a Dubai oil prince, you know what I mean? Because I know we all we don't all <laughs> got like you know the 200 million dollars, you know what I mean? If some Dubai oil prince says, Hey, I got fifty thousand dollars. I fly you over to Dubai, you know, I pop a squat over you, and I just, you know, unleash the floodgates. I just, you know, I, I, I paint a, a fucking nah, uh, name mural. Him. Would no, you take him? That. That's a hard line. That's a hard line. Why are you up, thinking so hard about this? First of all, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not thinking hard about it. I know my F age. I know my F on your chest. Fifty thousand ain't enough. One, I'm a professional king shamer. Came up, I shame a lot of kings. That's one. I'm pro king shaming. Two, fifty G's ain't enough for me, buddy. I'm sorry. I, that's yeah, all. Yeah, so there's I'm the price. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, there is the price. Or, or you princess? I know no, about it. Give me a price, then. Give me a price. So you want to be a blue chest? Me? Me? You? If you about to shit on my chest, I throw up easy. You shitting on my chest? Two fifty to five hundred thousand. That's my. Price. That's it. Wait, chest or face? Nah. Yes, that's wow. it. This shit. Chest two fifty. I just straight up wouldn't do it. There's no amount of money. Wait, you wait, 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 wait. You guys You're are lying. To get Cassie, there's no amount of you money. You guys no. are lying. All right, hold on. None. Somebody could pay Listen, you five thousand dollars to none? fuck you in the ass, but you wouldn't take five hundred thousand dollars to put in your chest. No, I wouldn't take five thousand dollars in the ass either. I don't do full service anymore. Hold on, dude. Everyone has their number. What about a camel? What about the camel? Is the camel? Oh, yeah. What oh, about yeah. the camel? Some of them like you to engage with the camel as well. You the know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, the camel offers to fly me out. Like, honestly, anyone offering well, to bring me to another country, I think I'm going to get trafficked. I, like, anyone I, in any country, if I don't know them I'm prior, trafficking. I'm like... Nah, honestly, I think this is not an answer. Honestly, this is not an like, answer. This listen, is not honestly, answer. I'm like Kanakin. I'm like Kanakin Skywalker, man. I don't like the sun. Kanakin? You know, so... Who the fuck is Kanakin? Wait, Mini, who's Kanakin? I, I thought you were talking about Mexican, Mexican Star Wars. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm done, bitch. Mini, I have a question. Mini, I have a question. Right, right. Uh, you were talking about the whole, like, uh, Cassie said black guys wanted to call it N-word, and you're like, oh, that's totally fine. You're actually racist if you don't say it. No, and then Fossa, me called them the N-word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah, Fossa yeah. was like, yeah, you're right, Mini. That's facts, bro. And then, like, why did you even, like, why did you say N-word? Like, why don't you just say the word? You know what I mean? It's just context. You're not being mean or anything. Like, why don't you just say it? Because... Because I'm Mexican, right? So what? And I didn't grow up saying the word, so it doesn't oh. feel right. So okay. it doesn't okay. feel so right. Okay, so agree with Cassie then. However, however, because I'm gonna show there's a difference between it in private and public. There's but a you difference. You got the past, lies. Listen here, son. I, I'll listen, Jock. Oh, all right. Heads up, guys. I've been looking at for a while. Don't just make it Just as a heads easy, up, son. we are at the end Don't. of the first round. Just a heads up, we're at the end of the first round. Chat will begin voting. I'm posting the poll in Kick Chat on who to keep, not kick. Okay. Good luck, guys. Hopefully, there aren't minority viewers Vote watching, for guys, competing for who to be the time. most racist person out there. Good luck. I've come to fill your supple little void hole. I disagree with that. By the way, what? Just saying. I'm just saying that's what Minnie said. All I'm saying. I can't believe what I heard. Trying to talk know. about that N word. Let him say N word. All right. Also, the cis whitey in you coming out, son. I don't I have want a quest, question for Jesse. 
He said that she was racist for not saying it, and then you agreed. In in private, right? Public is well, a different thing. Yeah, because Wait, that's 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 again, you guys would get the You said you do have the context, I, yeah. I don't. But, but you right now, it's the same thing you're doing. You're like, oh, you have the context to say it, so why don't you say yes. it? I did say it. I I'm not agreeing it. or disagreeing. I was just asking. It doesn't make sense. He contradicted himself multiple times. Wait, hold is, on. Is I, got, this, I got a question. I got a question for Cassie. Topic? Okay. Yeah. No, no, we're we're doing voting right now. Uh, once voting uh, is done, then we're gonna move on to the next topic. Oh, Cassie, did you ever say the N word? You could lie, obviously. You know what I mean. I said the N word when I was in middle school because my friend group uh, when that song, uh, my N word <laughs> came out, like they would all say it like my in that ex. context. So imagine like, remembering along with the song. N word, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't. Wait, it's not, it's not, it's not, not the uh, six nine, it's uh. not the six nine one where he goes shots, 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 shots. Nigga, it's not that one. No, I think, I think the opposite. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of another ninja, guy. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of another ninja, guy. Ninja, that song. Yeah, I'm thinking I of think another the guy. The opposite My question bad. that you could ask a black person is when the first time you <laughs> had the <laughs> yes. in the N word. That's the that's the opposite question, huh? Jamil, there. The uh, when's the last time you, time you said the N word? Um, Yesterday, bro. Probably like a few weeks. But I don't really say it too much. You say it with the like ER. It. You, you strike me as an no, no, ER no, no. guy. <laughs> no, no, no. Bro, I got years ago, years ago. I'll, I'll be honest. Bro, he care. says tiger with an ER. I don't say it because it doesn't sound good. You know what I mean? It's over. It's outplayed. I like saying fella now. So. Wait, you like to say that word? Respect as well. Classic, classic. Let me add on. Classic, like say boy, bro. You like saying boy. Boy. This was related to the question. Uh, so people should not, you know, be discriminatory in terms of who should watch their content. Uh, they should be able to, but they shouldn't because everyone else is going to get the wrong idea. You understand? Mm. Like, there's plenty of, like, garbage human being, low IQ racists that exist in the world. But oh. if you're not able to uh, pick up certain things, you're never going to know that. You know what I mean? Like, there's a reason I go to a party and then there's just white people here, uh, green people here, black people here. You know what I mean? They don't... Green? You know what? Job. I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say. Hey, 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 moderator. That's me. Moderator, host is talking. Just for that, job. Yeah. you and your friend down there, Mini Donby, you two are up for elimination. Oh, Jesus Christ. And you know who's going to be voting is our current winner, Evil Fossil. Is that like a chat thing? No! I feel like me and Evil Boy. Fossil fuck with each other. Like, fuck no, out of here. Get his ass out of here. It ain't even no. I told you I was going to eat your ass. Evil, evil, think, evil, think, 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 bro. Come on. Who's going to be more entertaining? You know, use it as a punching bag. You understand? This is going to be legendary like... shit. This will go down for the ages. You understand this, Evil. I know what you think in your head. You're it's wrong. Full but I know what you think, bro. When we were in the green room. Oh, my God. You could summon that. You can summon Whoa, that blue eyes Evil, all you up. want. You're going to do this. Hey, Zodia. You, you know. Oh, you know the potential of this, bro. You know this potential. That's crazy. You're going to do that away for what? Oh, my God. Stupid? Wait, what do you mean for what, motherfucker? For me. Get him out of here. You don't get the potential of you. All right. Evil. I'm sorry. Oh, You're a millionaire. You're a millionaire. Give me a little forehead on your forehead, all on your forehead, and do it properly. You're just like the whole shit, man. You're fucking cool. You've been, you've just been, get up out of here. So go ahead and you're a massive pussy. You know that, even. Ah, he mad. He mad. He mad. Bro, use your brain, man. Okay, let me see if you do the whole thing. This is nothing now. Go ahead and start. All right, listen, Ja. This is your chance, Ja. Listen. Wait. Now it's your time. Yes, Ja. This is the last thing, Ja. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, go ahead and uh, shout yourself out. Say the N-word if you Wait, want. Whoa, and, uh, I'm eliminated. Yeah. I'm eliminated? Yeah, you're eliminated. That's what Evil yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for you. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, like, you're too uh, salty and stubborn to realize the potential that we have. Evil Fossil, this could have been some legendary shit. I swear to God, bro, you'll think about this afterwards. There is no, there's no uh, pushback here. There's no animosity whatsoever. You guys are just circling, circle jerking each other off. There's nothing. I am, I am the antagonist in this animosity. situation. You understand? You're so sexy with your purple hair. And also, uh, yeah, kick.com slash Javili, whatever. Thanks for the invite. Right. Oh, fuck you. Dude, I love her. Nah. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. cut off. It's perfect. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Please let more people speak without having to shout over My each other. Next is gone. Oh. Just... I'll pull back. TikTok right. fugitive. TikTok fugitive. This, this right here is the Coliseum of content. You know what I mean? You can't tell the I, fucking I gladiator, please don't stab me in my fucking, you know what I mean, but my ribs or nothing, you know what I mean? If, 
if five people talk at the same time, nobody can hear anybody anyways. I'm just saying, listen, I'm not saying don't go at each other. I'm just saying, listen, let the people actually talk. Nobody enjoys five people talking because nobody can hear anybody except the person screaming the loudest. Wow. Okay. Which I mean, one of you guys had no father growing up? Because right now you've just been fathered. Lil Steve. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, shit. Go, go ahead with the next topic. What about okay, those buddy? two fathers? Yeah. Um, well, you know, on the topic of our uh, <clears throat> our last conversation. Question number two. I've only got four of these, so I don't know if we should have let the last topic uh, linger on a bit. But number two, there's always been talk about cancel culture for the um, on Twitch. For the Wait, first... We already done this last week, though. Did we? What is my question? Yeah, cancel culture. We've already done like. Can you let me read my fucking question? Read. Okay. Well, you yeah, need to loosen okay, up your little well. mask there. It's covering your fucking ears, kid. Okay, how about you fucking go to Turkey and get a hair transplant? Because right now your fucking hairline starts from the back of your neck, buddy. But go, go ahead, to Turkey to get. If I go to Turkey, it's going to be to tell my NATO allies to nuke your fucking country into ash, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, wait, okay? wait. Will they even allow you in there since, you know, Hassanabi, don't co sign your bitch ass? Oh, wait, my bad. I can't I live in him Turkey. Up. I have contact with well, intelligence. He's agency. an American. He's barely Turkish. Let's be real. See, yeah. chat, chat. I said in Turkey more than Hassan would, okay? All right, listen up. Okay, there's always been talk of cancel culture, especially on Twitch. For the first time, however, it seems like there's real competition, and many people are asking tough questions about what moderation should look like on these other platforms, namely Rumble and Kick. When it comes to hate speech or moderating hate speech, should people be allowed to say slurs? Should they be allowed to spread conspiracy theories? Where should we draw the line on newer platforms? I think they should uh, act basically like they do on Twitch. They, they could be a little bit less strict. Let's say uh, you pull up a video and someone says something in a video, an accident, that should be uh, more uh, allowed than it is on Twitch because we have been there for years. We know that uh, if you show a music video there where they show a little bit too much, you get banned. Yeah. But... Uh, straight up being uh, Aiden Ross on uh, kick, I think they should uh, moderate him a little bit. Yep. Yeah, I think there should be like some kind of appeal process for people who get banned to like actually question. show like <laughs> that they either didn't mean to be hateful or at least that they're like uh, changing. Because like I think a lot of people start on Twitch when they're younger and they are, well, streaming sites, and then they like grow a lot as they get older, hopefully. Um, but I think there should be like separation for people like Ed and Ross who are directly in, 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 uh, sorry, purposefully sending hate towards certain people. I think that should be taken care of. Um, well, didn't yeah. you see that well, he's not I having racist thought anymore? Young. It should be drawn. I anymore. mean, in my opinion, if they want to be as competitive as possible, I mean, first of all, it's a profit thing. Uh, it's not obviously moderated by the government and so if they're trying to make a what i think they should do is be as open possible free speech like let um hate speech let slurs let misinformation and then you can also allow people to comment and be like yeah you think this misinformation but you're wrong because like discussion is what makes people open their eyes to the problems. If people are always censored, then you wouldn't even know that racism exists. But if you could see it, then you're aware of it and you could see the problem. Uh, the issue is censorship. Uh, censorship a lot of the time backfires and causes more of the problem that you think that you're stopping with the censorship. Listen, as a 450 year old masculine fossilized tree, I got to deal with every day on the internet being called black. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, but I got to deal with that racism shit every single day in every single space online. That shit ain't going nowhere. When it comes to the moderation shit, I do believe that the, it should be a lot more lax. But at the same time, um, using a recent example that I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with, or maybe not, Myron from Fresh and Fit being able to go on Rumble and literally be KKK, but then mm. all of a sudden go on YouTube and just be chilling. I don't think that should be a thing. I think the motherfucker should be wiped out in entirety if it if there is an infraction, but there should be less moderation overall. Wait, why? So you're I for to... cross-platform bans. Wait, right? also, you want Myron to be white. You don't think Myron, even if you disagree with him or think he's racist, you don't think that he brings up points that should 
be discussed in a society. Bro, I think he should you? lose out for yeah, just God. getting online and going. Ooh, ah, ah. I think he should just be obliterated, bro. If you want to sit there, ooh, ah, ah, and you get treated like, ooh, ah. like, bro, so he got too so big of a platform. You don't think there should be time to like, like, but people like, want what? to support him and people want to continue watching him. People. So you should allow oh, people, of course. So, people, uh, yeah, all right. So, oh, if we got like the whole tell country. Tell him to go funny, bro. Bro. Oh, oh, the fucking race. Put his cash up out there. Huh? Tell him to add his cash up. Tell him to set up a GoFundMe. Him being able to make, listen, I think it should be, listen, I'm not about to sit here and be a, a positive Nancy about everything. Talk about, oh, you need these restrictions, that restriction. I think it should be super lax. I think the line should be if you're purposely trying to offend someone or send hate towards people. That yes. should be the line. But in terms of toxicity, in terms of saying slurs, as long as it's properly advertised like, hey, Find a way to advertise it or let it be shown that, hey, this is about to be a very hateful space. Hey, this is about to be some very mature content. I love what Kick does now. When you click on the stream, it says 18 plus. It lets you know it's going to be mature content. Now, yeah. I'm nowhere, I'm not the person to sit here and dictate what person's content, how mature it should and shouldn't be. I'm not about to sit here and tell some people, hey, if it's a bunch of people in here being racist, Hey man, they being they saying racist jokes. They ain't saying racist jokes. I'm not gonna be in here, but I'm not about to say it. it's racist jokes at the end of the day. If they're purposely trying to be harmful, if they're purposely trying to be offensive, that should be the line. When you're going yeah, out of your way to attack people, that should be the line. Yeah, but if it's this preach, line, go ahead. shouldn't the line be drawn at like harassment? Because you should that, you should that's be purposely going out the way to harm people. And it should be cross-platform. Yeah. Like that, that motherfucker literally got on Rumble and harassed with his with his Luke Clinton's party. He knows, and yes, there's people who want to follow him, especially young people who want to follow that kind of rhetoric. Who did he harass? I listen. He I harassed. Think, um, but he harassed all black people. Preach. What do you mean? Well, and black people. <laughs> it was well, black Genesis. people and Abbott Preach. Let's be honest. Yes. Was it not Abbott and Preach, or was it like some yeah, other? It was. It was, no, it was Abbott and Preach and black people, like both. Think like Abbott people sitting and there and ripping them apart. Do you think Abba and Preach, if they wanted to, would be able to win in a court saying that they were harassed and to prevent him from continuing harassment? But does that fall what? on the creator? No, I just mean like that should, if we're talking about the legal line of harassment, do you think I'm they would actually win? So it's not legal. Wait, 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 Bro. Yeah, we're not, we're not talking about, about legal, legal in right? terms of in, in terms of the legislation and federal laws. We're talking legal as in Twitch and kick guidelines. Right. Yeah. The and guidelines would be kick law. That's kick law. Guidelines are kick right. law. And, and then I kick think... law. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lauren. Go ahead. And I think the line should be drawn where it is actually legal. So, like, you can't actually harass somebody. So, to the point of where harassment is illegal, I don't think you should be allowed to do that. But other than that, you should be allowed to be offensive. Oh. You should be allowed to be wrong. You should be allowed to have racist discussions because racism is legal. It's unfortunate, and I dislike it, and I'm the not... The problem with falling on the legal what? stuff like that is is that now it's up to the prowess of the person who controls their language. Now it's just, like, what can they get away with? Or that's in where what it falls context? under the morals of the website, yeah. too. Like, that's where it becomes tricky because, like, what Twitch finds offensive is me playing a music video and someone saying whatever True. word they're going to say. With it being more lax, it's I mean, I, I discussions are fine, and I'm come come from personality. I ask a lot of questions that have a pissed people off, not because I'm trying to, but just because I want to know. I think those discussions can be let out. What about like, varying I'm, cultures? And I'm not speaking only in the racism issue, but just for my understanding, who here is not based in the United States? Because cultures me. around a lot. Of, okay, you you. Um, okay, I'm so actually based this. in every country around the world. I get it based. No. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm I'm just getting kind of people where people's cultural backgrounds come from because based I've lived in twelve countries. And let me tell yeah, you, the diversity of cultures among so many different social viewpoints is drastic. I mean, we have one extreme like Saudi Arabia, which I used to visit a lot when I worked at Microsoft. And you know what if Saudi Arabia says, well, Twitch streamers in Saudi Arabia have to cover their faces. And how do we enforce these global types of things? And one thing I see, not so much to Twitch, but like on TikTok, is a lot of the social platforms that go so far to the other extreme that on TikTok, if I even mention the word gun, I can get a dink. And they've just gotten so arbitrary. There's no appeals process. So whatever the process is, it should be clear understandable, definable, repeatable, and appealable. And I think the community should be involved as well. And not only, we don't want to allow just people to like tweet storm or Twitch storm, or we're going to call it Twitch just to take creators down, 
but there should be some sort of input. It shouldn't be just some random bureaucrat deciding what's bad and what's good. It should at least have to be initiated by the community first to say this channel has a problem. And then there's a, a proper process to look into I think into there it. should be like a board oh, through that like helps the, decide like who can appeal and who gets like approved to like come What if the, yeah, what if the community is just wrong, matter. for example, right? What if the, the community of people who are deciding are just wrong yeah. on a subject? So for example, let's take the trans stuff, right? If you're talking about trans stuff on Twitch, and then you get banned when you didn't say anything horrible about it. That's yeah, yeah, a little weird. I'm, I'm not now, saying the community should I, not decide. Listen, no, the community should not decide. I don't understand, right? If you said, you know what, that there are no trans people to take all the trans kids away from their parents. Okay, yeah, you should get banned because you're telling people what to do. Like, for example, if Aiden Ross tells a guy, hey, listen, if you stab your brother, I'll give you 20,000. I think that's a ban. And yeah, no, I'm yeah. saying the community should However, not decide because that's cancel culture. Well, yeah, what I'm I saying is yeah, that maybe instead of having bureaucrats going around and looking, that, the, that reports should be community initiated. There should be some sort of report. Like on TikTok, one person reports you and it's enough. That's ridiculous. There should, yeah, should that's be ridiculous. some sort of bar that if you have 100,000 subscribers, Please, you need at least 5,000 people to report your account or something. And at that point, then the bureaucracy can kick in and it'll have well-defined standards for what's there. So the community doesn't decide. But I'm saying that to get rid of these, these broken machine learning algorithms and the broken AI, it they takes me down to give me TikTok again because I mentioned even something that sounds like the word gun. Mm. If they, I think the community should be able to initiate it. And the reason why is because I think that yeah. there's even like this difference, the differential, like people saying, oh, on TikTok, you could do one thing, rumble and one thing. Bro, this is not, this is the internet. It's all basically on the same goddamn server if it comes to like any realistic purpose like these. It's one click away. It's not like a country. So honestly, like it's not that far away. So these differences are so arbitrary. Where they even come from? To be honest, they just there for incentives nah. for like hold on. monetary incentives. That, that I should be agree. removed. Puzzle. I partly agree. Puzzle, but doesn't that mean that you shouldn't be banned cross platform, right? Because I think you. Well, it depends. You should. It depends what you've done. Depends. It depends what the truth is. But that, break, what, what, what falls under that line, though? That, that, the, but that's that, a morality like, issue. If they break Which? your own rules. Right on another platform, is that bannable? Is that what you're saying? Right, they're breaking your rules on another platform, like uh, um, Myron. It's all like, to make that kind of high. It's, it's, wait, 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 pause, 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 hold on. What okay, starting from one to the rest, what is a bannable offense? And this is where this is where we'll see the difference. This is where we'll mm -hmm. see the issue, Lauren. What's a bannable offense? Uh, on YouTube, anything. Or on Okay, Just yeah. in, in your opinion. Yep. Oh, in my opinion. Oh, like actually harassing someone. So like saying or um, anything that would sh like clear Brandenburg v. Ohio standards of um, what would be speech not protected by the First Amendment. Okay. Cass, what about you? Uh, yeah, I would say like hate raids, that type of thing. Like uh, threats to violence, calls to violence. Um, yeah. Stuff like that, okay. uh, like like he's uh, like Adam Ross, like harassing Hassan, telling him to like unalive and shit like that. Mm. I think it's like not okay. Okay. Yeah. So for me, it'd be pure unadulterated hate speech, and which is like just just comes from inside and harassment campaigns. Okay. So a uh, patterned harassment. Okay. Can you? I think uh, almost everything I've been mentioned, I, I wanted to say being a bikini without a hot tub in the background. I don't know more than <laughs> everyone there uh, said there was, a lot, there was a lot of good. I, everyone agrees, I think. Everyone yeah, said the same, site. basically. Yeah. I, but, you know, I didn't say the same thing as Evil Fossil because I don't agree. First of all, I don't think hate speech is really definable. Like, what is hate speech? Anybody who is in control would get to define what hate speech is. And also, that's specifically excluded from the First Amendment. Hate speech is protected speech by the First Amendment. So, no, I, I don't agree. I'm. But it's also legal. This is for platforms. You're sex, using. You're like, using pla platforms. Don't like, don't don't conflate I, freedom. We'll conflate freedom with like the ability to engage a platform. Also, to be clear, as a quick point of guidance, my understanding is on like 99% of platforms, when you see something called hate speech, that's usually speech that's neg negatively directed at what the United States considers a protected class. So making fun of somebody for their religion, race, sexuality, sexual orientation, familial or veteran status might even qualify for some people, but just as a guide, I think. There's, but uh, there's, there's one there's thing we keep on forgetting. There's one important thing we keep on forgetting. 
we need to draw the line where we actually can have some brands coming in and advertise because yes. if not we're going to be poor people that uh, can't <laughs> even make any more content true. so we need to draw the line a little so bit before true. all the hate speech think... and uh and the uh, hate raids do you guys think that the klu klux klan should not be allowed <laughs> twitter profile Oh, they, they can have, have a they can have Twitter profile, no. but they should also I mean, be subjected to everyone giving them hate. They should also yeah, like be the subjected to people trolling them at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. I'm not, if, if they they be allowed to exclude people and block people the same way we exclude and if block they want people? to, yeah, but they yeah. should yeah. find a way anyways. Trolled. Right, yeah, like they'll find a way. On. That's what I'm talking about. User initiated stuff. So if the KKK decides oh. to get a Twitter or Twitch Do or whatever, think... the rest of us can respond. And if they have some sort of policy that says for. If five percent of the number of reports match our followers, then they'll start and do an investigation. But it also has to be very clear because you keep referencing the First Amendment, which is fine. But for those of us not sitting in the United States, your First Amendment doesn't mean crap. We all have all our right. own different right. right. What happens when? What happens when instead of uh, Twitter, we get we get a Chinese Twitter or Japanese Twitter, and they don't have to abide by the U.S. laws? Right. If you made a cool cut, if the Ku Klux Klan made a Twitter, U.S. law is the most protective of. Lauren, speech. if the Ku Klux Klan made a Twitter, and I went to that Twitter and I and I expressed undaring love, and I was spamming them with as much love as possible, and made it mad obvious that I'm the black person that just like complete, like the actual opposite of hate, right? Should they be allowed to moderate that my behavior? I mean, there you're allowed to moderate anyone on your Twitter, right? So why shouldn't they be allowed to moderate anyone on their Twitter? They're just a group, just like any other group, and, and I, they're not governmentally organ like related. They're not a governmental organization, so they have the right to block whoever they want to block. Lauren, can I ask one account. question? Wait, hold on, Lauren. Can I ask a question? Why do you feel people should be allowed to have, as you said earlier, racist conversations? And She's asking for a gathering. friend, bro. No, no. Okay, we'll let her answer. Jesus Christ. But why, why do you feel that that's just? <laughs> I think censorship actually creates. So, like, if you don't talk about racism, it actually creates more racism because then you have to talk about it underground, and you don't talk about it in an open air environment. When you when you talk about it in an open air environment, and you say things that are racist, then you have the ability to counteract racist thoughts with logic and reasoning. However, I, it's I, it's I, hate it's speech and racist. talking about racism is different, though. I say, do you not know the difference between a racist conversation and a conversation about racism? You don't, bro. So if you're racist online, right? And then somebody who is not racist sees that conversation and they impede and they add to that conversation and they add, like allowing that conversation to happen is beneficial to society as opposed to censoring the conversation from ever happening. Is that listen, I, Sorry, listen, <laughs> I, I want to know who the racist people are, okay? And so if they're allowed to speak, I know who they are, right? Mm -hmm. So I can avoid them. Yep. The thing is, is when I don't know if the like when what? when I can't see them, they're still gonna be <laughs> listen, they're still gonna meet up, bro. They're still gonna meet up. They're still gonna meet up, all right, in a basement, in their mom's basement or wherever. <laughs> Racist people are still gonna fucking meet up and talk. At least if they're if they can have a free speech right, <laughs> on the internet, I know what they look like, so I can avoid them. <laughs> Wait, right? so you were born in the racist. basement talking about, yeah, let's kill all these Mexicans and all these black people. Wait, 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 yeah. wait. So you avoid <laughs> racist on platforms like Kick, Twitter, yeah. Facebook, Instagram by actively seeking out where they are at and having a happy <laughs> conversation. <laughs> so you know not <laughs> you know what the internet is, that is bro? Know how, no, wait, wait. I'm you know how I stay, no, no, you know how I stay away from racist conversations? Well, stay away from racist? I don't have racist conversations. If you don't have a racist conversation, you probably won't run into a racist. And if someone says something racist to you, if you don't engage, Wait, what do you mean? Fuck them, move on. Well, you won't be I've, had, I've had so party. many people what call me a peanut, bro, because I'm Mexican. Like, what do you How mean? Did and you I talk? wasn't engaged in the, in the like, conversation. Let me. And what did you say before them to call you a beaner? Nothing. And what did you do after they called? Wait, wait, wait. What did you do after they called you? What did you do after they called you a beaner? Nothing. I just laughed. There you I'm go. Like, oh, I know you, got you, not, you have to take age. You have to remove yourself from that, bro. It's the internet. Yeah. In the end, in since he's right, you can't remove yourself from that situation. Yeah. I do get you, bro. Like you could be playing and Halo you, um, and right, like nigga, 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 nigga. Right? They're gonna be streaming. Boom! Muted. Like, immediately. I know who they are. I know who they are. 
But, but I don't need the KKK Halo team to be prevalent so I know races are on cake or on Halo. That's dumb. That that yeah, okay. like I think there's an okay. issue with monetizing people who say stuff like that and like yeah. giving them a bigger Well, hold on, hold on. Lauren, should ISIS have a Twitter account? Uh, doesn't the like Yes, cuz it's easier to find them and bomb them. I'm pretty to be sure honest, cuz they they're kind of fucking stupid. Doesn't like Assad, like, don't they have Twitter account? I'm pretty sure, pe like, there's some pretty crazy. The cartels have Twitter. Twitter. Yo, you have these that I've seen, like, I've you seen, I've seen, like, No, I'm sorry, I was laughing because it sounded like you were saying Assad is ISIS. My bad. No, 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 no. I haven't, like, very um, racist and large organizations and terrorist organizations had Twitter accounts in the past. Yeah, Trump had a Twitter no. account for a long time. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm sorry. I'm, my bad. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right, Lord. Lots, lots of them have, and some of them, if they're sanctioned organizations, they've been taken down. But I think we need to focus on the content, not because we're going to get lost in this thing of trying to figure out who everybody is. You can't figure it out online. So just if the content's bad, you work on the content. You don't say, yeah, oh, this person may or yeah. may not be ISIS. No, on, I, but it's I easy to find them if they post, right? Like they've yeah, yeah. literally been found out because they posted on the fucking Lauren, IP. I they, treated you well. Has it's good the well. You well. It has, hasn't it? Huh? It treated you pretty well, huh? What's well, treated me well? Society. Society in life? I mean, yeah. I'm Jewish, so, like, <laughs> you know, Holocaust was... I mean, I didn't really go through the Holocaust. But... <laughs> me, personally, Holocaust yeah. Like, really... I mean, life's been, like, pretty decent to me, but I think that's just because I have great parents. I don't really think that has... I know plenty of white people who have shitty parents. <laughs> Um, bro, bro, oh my yes, this is the trauma. Lord, I love you so much, yeah, bro. Yeah, life is great. I don't know what you want me to fucking say, bro. Like, just say it. What? Yeah, life is awesome. Like, yes. Nice, nice. Okay, that's not true. Okay, what? We can tell. How does that yeah, have to do the conversation? Say it. Listen, hey, wait, you got, hey, 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 listen, listen. If you guys all had to bring up slavery and shit, she's allowed to bring up the Holocaust. It's fair game, all right? Oh yeah. I, I want to say on this yeah. point though that, for example, where I live now, I live in the Caribbean. I've lived in about twelve countries, so I've lived in I've lived in Muslim countries, Christian countries, all, all sort of religions, and so forth. But where I'm at now, it's ninety percent African descent. It's about five percent Indian descent, and about five percent whites and others. And this whole concept of racism that pervades America and even most of Western Europe is viewed so differently down here, even among the locals here. That the way they view what's going on in America, and it's just. They understand it because they've been back and forth to America. They see TV, but it's so different here. We have such amazingly low levels of racism. When we do, it's not between black and white. It's between the shades of black. So sometimes mm. in the schools here, you'll get what they call the, the light-skinned kids versus the medium-skinned kids versus dark-skinned kids. But even that's really rare here. We really are in a place that does not have a lot of racism. It's, it's almost negligible. I've had to explain it to my, especially my kids who were born here, because I have kids that are born here, and they don't understand it because... Well, they're the one white kid, one or two white kids in the whole class, but all their friends are black or Indians, and they just don't see it the way they see it on TV. And until they travel and understand what people talk about, it, it's just such a foreign concept to them. How yeah, many African Americans are like prevalent in that area as well? Like it's ninety percent. I'm in the Caribbean. I, no, no, African Americans. Mm -hmm. not oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought he, I thought he meant okay. Americans, bro. Yeah, they're, they're not like, Americans. In, 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 in situations like that or in coach, I don't know, what the, I'm, I'm trying to be politically correct. I really don't care. And everything <laughs> like that, like to be honest, the racism, because it's not coming too much between the different shades of brown, once an African American comes over there, oh, it, it looks it's just open, like how it's on TV. Yeah, it looks just like TV like, racism. Bro. Real easy. It, it, real Trust. quick. TV racism. Listen, so good. I, yep. I, I don't think that people like Caranto should be able to say the N word, to be honest. Because his people sold other people. You know what I mean? Hey, man, well, listen. Either, you should be able either, to say either no one says it or we all say it. I don't really care. Father, we'll guys, listen. So his people, there is no such thing as his people or her people. So there's there's people. Or her people. So there's we are there's not responsible for the citizens of our fathers. I'm not responsible for my German ancestors any more than my American ancestors. I am my own person. I choose my own path, and each of you do too. Sure, you, and you know, why you just finished people. talking about? Why you just finished yeah, talking about heritage, bro? Why you just finished talking about heritage, then, bro? I'm not being a natural power black American. And the last thing you can go to is your fucking grandpops who was picking cotton in the field. Unironically, nigga. It's the only thing. I'm not saying it's not your perspective. I'm saying you can't judge other people based on who their ancestors were. 
Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, we've got great grandson because his, his great grandfather was a murderer. Hey, host is talking. We come to the end of another round, okay? <laughs> Check this out, guys. I'm gonna put the poll in. Kick chat. There you go. You guys need to vote on who to keep, not kick. Vote on who to keep, not kick. Guys, right, guys? one second. I got money. I got money, so I, you know I gotta address the the money. You know what I mean? Wait, <laughs> Chad. Wait, How what? many no, countries okay? did, could you list the country? No, I'm not fucking okay, man. I'm telling you. Somebody <laughs> drunk, fucking drunk, somebody drunk my Where water at the fucking you, airport. I can't, no fucking, I can't fucking see straight. I fucking, I, I, I feel terrible. Anyways, uh, Chad, could you list the amount of, or the countries that you lived in? Yeah, sure. I lived in the United States, Russia, Cyprus, Turkey, Jordan, Switzerland, Bulgaria, France, uh, St. Kitts. Oh, and I probably forgot. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what the fuck? Nobody asked, Chad. I don't want you to continue. Stop. Wait, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Continue. But you know, the, the dono had told me that I have to do that. But you know, I got a conscience still. Go ahead, continue. I, I think I got all of them there. I mean, I'll just off the top of my head again. You know, uh, the United States, Cyprus, Turkey, Jordan, Switzerland, Bulgaria, France, Russia, Saint Kitts. But I probably forgot something in there somewhere. What was your favorite place? I don't have a specific favorite place for a specific thing. There are different things I like about each places as to where to live. I really do like St. Kitts here in the Caribbean, and this we've made our, our home here despite being trapped here by the FBI and Interpol. We would remain what here even after I'm freed. Damn. What did you do, bro? What? I don't you want to know what he did. I told y'all, guys. Oh, no, bro. I, I got to watch that vibe now. He's still on this That's the vibe, bro. He no, and I'm pissed. Like, you can find me on the FBI website, like, guys. You can find news <laughs> articles about me on social press and writing. Right. Hey, 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 listen up, guys. Important, important moment in your lives, okay? We have a round two winner, and that round two winner is congratulations for your brilliant contributions. Canute, good job. How is it possible? You've done a great <laughs> job this <laughs> round, okay? So we're applauding your effort. I, will, I, will, I had the beginning argument. Okay, whatever cope you got. Okay, listen, now you <laughs> are going to be the one to eliminate one of two people, okay? You have to terminate okay. either... Our purple-haired friend Cassie, or our Mexican friend here, Mini Donby. Again. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Oof. Really this like is the haircut. Don't, don't, don't take like it personal. This is the haircut. It's, listen, yeah, it's the I haircut, know, it bro. It looks kind of 1942-ish, man. I know. <laughs> Isn't usually when I see purple hey, you got, you people, got I would keep space. Yeah, you got too much negative space in your background, bro. You're not doing it, bro. You got to do something about that. But listen, I will be based on who I contributed the most or least. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> of course, it is great. It's a fucking game show. You're right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, who's out? Who's out? The, the purple hair? Cassie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I had a great fucking time. Good conversations, guys. Oh, I was quite quiet. I lost them. No, I'm sorry, Cassie. Yes, I thought that it was great to meet y'all. It was great to meet y'all. You, you have to remember, I have a reputation to take care of. This guy would have called me a lot of bad words. And you know, my <laughs> reputation hasn't been the best on the internet this last year. So I was a little bit afraid. Wow. So I had to keep him. All right, well, listen up, guys. Listen up, guys. Listen up, guys. Cassie, go ahead. Go ahead. Cassie, and, uh, shout yourself shout out. Yourself Canute, out. Yeah. Canute, if I'm in Europe someday, please give me a knuckle sandwich. Um, I'm Pat Whoa. Nip. You're on kick. Uh, yeah. Um, Cassie, like, ass, not Casey. Um, I'll see you guys some other time. Hopefully coming back for another episode sometime. Good luck. Thanks for having me. Yeah, there you go. Thank you for coming oh. on. Wait, hold on. Come I'm so on. sorry. Ooh. When I grew up, knuckle sandwich means getting, like, punched. Is there, like, yeah, a yeah, sexual? Yeah, that's what I did. That's what it means. I think she wants she to get beat by Canute. Oh, okay. She cool. does, yeah. Nice. Squad uh, W in chat, ladies and gentlemen. Squad W in chat, please. Okay. I uh, respectfully I uh, den deny that one. Wait, <laughs> Canute, you're telling me if a woman is rushing at you, trying to, like, <laughs> knock you out, you're not gonna, you know, hit her with the sidestep. Canute, it's 2023. I will do this. Just protect myself. And but, Canute, away. it's 2023. A woman could be your size. True. Yeah. Be careful, Canute's uh, not doing too hot on that either. I think that can happen before. Canute's not standing in trouble here, okay? Maybe. Canute, you don't have to answer that, okay? Instead. I should maybe okay, kick him just for safety it. reasons. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Canute. 
<laughs> no, that's fine. All right, guys. Congratulations. You guys have made it to round three. Next question coming up. Okay. Wow, this is a really... This question... This question doesn't work because we don't have the right cast for it, but I'm going to ask it anyway, so good luck. Oh. Wait, <laughs> wait, stop. Before you get it into it. Yeah. Because you've already qualified it terribly. Now. Yeah, I, I don't even hear it. No, you know you're I mean? going to hear it now. I... We needed more no, women, wait, but no. Wait, wait, we're going to get to it later. No, we're, we're doing we're it right now. Later. No, because I'm, we might I'm eliminate literally... literally the only woman on the panel, and I think it's an interesting one to have women okay, and men. We're gonna... Okay, hold on. What? We'll, we'll get to it, you know, during the fucking Oh, okay, okay. We're not going to ask it now. Q is going to ask one of his questions. Go for it, Q. Yeah, thank you very much. Also, uh, maybe look into some gyno doctors, because right now I just saw them goddamn titties tittying. But that's just between yeah, you and Yeah, what are you looking doctor. at your webcam? Go ahead, buddy. Uh, no, I'm not actually. I'm looking at you. Go Anyways, ahead. Uh, this question goes to the uh, black members of the uh, panel. Do you believe that, and this is just a quick one, I'm curious about your thoughts on this. Do you believe that Black History Month should be a thing, or Juneteenth, or whatever the fuck? Do you think, like, this should actually be a thing, or it just pushes oh. the... Oh, no. I said black, I but ask... the Mexican is raising his hand. Yeah, that is crazy. Uh, I don't think you're Afro-Latino. Um, yeah, true. Uh, I can, Damo, I, I, go I ahead. can answer this. Hey, listen, yeah, you can answer my blow hey half, sir, 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 you sir, you're not Afro-Latinx, bro. You're not Afro-Latinx. I'm sorry, that's a new term. Latinx, Damo, Damo, you um, Wait, hold on, Damo, you're saying Latinx speech. That's, that's the that's the that's the uh, that's the term anyway. Nah. Um, in terms of Black History Month and Juneteenth, um, no, I don't think Black History Month and Juneteenth right. need to be something that's like given its own time period or its own month. I think Black History is American history. It should just be taught with regular social studies and every other historical aspect. There's no Jewish History Month, but you're gonna learn about the fucking Holocaust. I think it should just be taught with school. February should not be the one, especially because they don't even teach it right. You're not allowed to talk about Malcolm X. You're not allowed to talk about X, Y, and Z. Only the You're only going to talk about people. Jesus Christ. Yeah, You're only going to talk about the same. Oh. Yeah. It, it's just it's Martin Luther King, Luther Harriet Tubman, Underground Railroad, and yeah. slave and slavery. They don't even tell you, that they even tell you about hell, half of the bro. slavery. They, they only tell you about you being conquered and beat. They don't talk about they the slave don't. revolts. They don't talk about anything else they prevalent when it comes to slavery. The, the, so, yeah, the I would definitely say this. Case, bro, when they had the little kids with the, the alligators, truth. bro. Right? The truth is, running around with the alligators. The truth is, they give you a month so they don't have to deal with you the whole year. That's why oh, they do shit. that. Is that why they only why give y'all a day? Do is that why y'all only get a day? I don't want a day, finished. bro. A day. They do I it for that day. They do it for that day. American you, history bro. is... Black history should be an American history. And show, bro, there's Mexican people in there working too. But no, they give you a day or they give you a month. Why? You shut the fuck up. The it's fucked up. I don't want a month. I don't want to deal with it, nigga. Dude, stop labeling I don't want me a month anything. either. We both don't want a month. Don't want it. No, you we know agree. What? We agree. I don't want a month for them. Yeah. Trade us. In, give us single de Mayo. I'd rather have single de Mayo. I want. I want, oh, I want my single grandma. grandma. We don't even celebrate that tell shit. Tell me what month to celebrate. I want my mom, my grandma, or my grandpa's to tell me what to celebrate, and I want y'all motherfuckers to appreciate it. But it ain't never gonna happen, nigga, because y'all killed the motherfuckers. Y'all got rid of them. Be over, okay, nigga. Speaking from the American view, I can say that what they teach in American public and private schools, what they do teach is very minimal as I forget which one of you said that. And especially when you live in a country like I do, that is 90 percent African descent. The way that they teach my kids here in public schools, uh, public and private schools here is so drastically different. They really teach the history here. They do teach about emancipation. Mm -hmm. They go on tours here to go to former slave plantations. Our park downtown, Independence Square, used to be a place where they sold slaves and they take them on field trips there. And they show them the reality of it, while the American education system glosses over it at best. You don't think America is is, is conscious of that? You don't think that's intentional? You oh, it's absolutely it's, it's, it's absolutely. Listen, I'm not yeah, saying it it's not intentional. Yeah. I'm just pointing out what it is. But yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like absolutely said, intentional. Like I said, they give you a month so they don't deal with it. The, the rest of the year, it's completely fucked. What do you mean no, they, they don't do it? They give you a month so that they can... Stop saying that. They give you a month so I mean, that they can the get you into that that validation seeking mindset for the rest of the year so you can go there and spend the rest of your time searching for where they get that history from because like he said they're not going to teach it to you all day you ain't oh, going to be quick, like they, they hey, hey, about the justice system they teach you have a right to a speedy trial but they don't tell you that the constitution while it guarantees you a speedy trial doesn't define speedy and so Americans are growing up in this history of historical propaganda, whether it comes from slavery or basically anything that makes America look shameful. They have tried to sanitize or scrub out of history. And when they're forced to cover it, they just, you know, Harriet Tubman and Martin Luther King and who were great people, but not the only people.
Hey, real quick, real quick, real quick. Um, guys, I gotta gracefully bow out. Um, this has been fun. I, I gotta dip. I was on time constraints. I'm already running a little late. Listen, this is super fun. Glad I met all y'all. Hope we can no, do this shit again. I would be this. great. I I'll be happy to come back. This was fun. Don't do this. No cap. Some high engagement. Listen, he bro. has to go. He has to go do the Let's Keep It a Buck podcast. I appreciate you stopping by. You already let me know that you're gonna leave an hour and a half in. I appreciate yeah. you coming on, right? We'll have you on in the future, too. You know what I mean? Bet, bet, bet. Can't wait, man. Hey, hey. Y'all better be lucky because somebody was coming in second. I don't know which one of you it was. Oh, one of y'all was coming in second. I felt, I felt real comfortable in here. Y'all must get them down with that. But with that being said, hey, man. Yeah, I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm out. Love y'all, man. All right, take fun. care, my man. Yeah, man. Okay. Double damo, double damo. Okay. Jesus Christ, I, I'm like a cockroach, man. What the fuck? So now I'm the only <laughs> natural, powerful Black American you can ask anything about the Black experience. Okay, I'm curious. Uh, like uh, not you know, we've got we've got a lot of white people on here, and I, I leave for two seconds, and you lose a guess. What the fuck happened? <laughs> okay, first of all, uh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. First of all, I didn't lose him. Second of all, he already told me Damo already told me like when I reached out to him, hey, I could only be on for like an hour and a half because I got the let's keep it a buck podcast. Well, why so did we like, kick the to... other girl then? <laughs> what the... <laughs> he was never up. He was never up to be kicked. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god. Well, you think we could just decide who to fucking kick and keep? That's up to the Get contestants. Get her back to the No, too late. No, you made that decision, Canute. You have to live with that choice. You're going to carry that weight, soldier. <laughs> that is one of the easiest thing I can live with in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you the question that I had in mind. And this goes to all of you. Even you, Lauren. I say even you because the question is a little bit crazy. Do you think that, you know, white woman... Nobody demons. Do you think they're the devil? Do you think white women are the devil? Do you think that they should not be trusted? Because you know we've seen. Okay, uh, Lauren, I know you. You just got heated, but technically you're not white, right? You could play the Jew card. Anyways, as I was saying, right? Uh, in the past week, there has been a controversy with the political streamer known as Hunter Avalon, where his uh wife, right, and. You know, I'm not making any of this up. Uh, you know, let me just preface real quick. I'm not making any of this up. Hunter Avalon's wife, a white woman that goes by the name uh, Destiny. Little Steve, could you remind me what her name was? Who? Uh, Hunter what Avalon's wife. wife. Uh, wasn't it Cassandra? Cass Cassandra? Is it Cassandra? Guys in chat, is it Cassandra? The one no that shot. was on the show? Oh, maybe it's Clarissa. I don't know. Fuck them. Uh, it's Clarissa. Everybody's typing Clarissa. Okay, so... Apparently, Carissa Avalon, Hunter Avalon's wife, was caught cheating on the man with six. Wait, not one, hold two, on. That's not, that's not even true. Stop. Can you shut up? Wait, Wait, I'm asking the contestants. This is kick or keep. Don't worry about it. Let me ask the contestants. Mind your business. You're not even giving the anyway. story correctly. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Him. You, let him at his own sauce. Wait, right? can you all shut the fuck up? Who the fuck are you? Shut up. Let me fucking finish. Thank you. Let me cook. Thank you very much. Apparently, Carissa Avalon uh, has been cheating on her husband, Hunter, with not one, two, three, four, or five BBCs, but six. And she also likes, you know, she likes to have Mountain Dew poured all over her. By Mountain Dew, I mean piss. Spelled P-I-S-S. -S. You know what I mean? Uh, how, how do you feel about that story? Do you think that Hunter Avalon should just, you know... Pick up the Glock. I'm kidding. I, I don't okay, know, okay. Like... Here's how I feel about that story. If that story is true, then we also know Destiny has a secret daughter, and that's really exciting. So congratulations, what Destiny. Secret okay. dad. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 Lauren, are you trying to say right now that the story is completely fabricated? Oh. Not true whatsoever. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm oh saying man. The story is completely fabricated. <laughs> okay. So you're telling. So you're telling me. So you're telling me. So you're telling me. That the man is divorcing his wife based off of a story that is 100% fabricated and not true. And that the that fucking screenshots divorcing... that came out are all fake. I think he's divorcing his wife based on completely other matters. And when they figured out that they were divorcing his wife, they came up with some bullshit story to embarrass him and make him seem like a cock and it's so funny because it's such a red pill story it's like what's the worst nightmare for a red pill dude is getting cucked by a bunch of black dudes it's not like the worst nightmare for a liberal dude you know what i mean oh, no, well, I having your wife, wait having your wife peed on by six black dudes is not the worst nightmare for a liberal dude 
for oh, a a dream, for sexually free liberal dude who doesn't really care and isn't racist and doesn't really give a fuck about, I don't know if and is already going to divorce the wife anyway why would that be the end of the world what the fuck okay. is the question? Can someone yeah, explain I, I, to me what's going on? No, I, I, no, I don't know. What does not being white have to do with the it? Question, the question, the question is, is how can Karandos talk about this topic as much as possible <laughs> without making it related <laughs> to anything that's going on on stream right now? That's okay, the question. Don't worry. Okay, guys. She's guys. a hoe, but what does it have guys, to do with I, being I white? will be your light. I'll be your guidance. The question basically is, what are your thoughts about the story? By the way, it's 100% true. The screenshots are out there. She asked Tyrone, Jamal, Joshua, and Jamichael. Javon? Right? She asked, yeah, and, yeah, yeah but Javon, wasn't that after they were already broken up? No. The, the story is this, right? She wanted to be a, an H-O-E or a W-H-O-R-E. Right or an S L U D, you know what I mean? Yeah, and he basically was like, "Listen, I can't do this." So she went behind his back and she went to speak with one of the guys that came on her, on on her husband's stream. Right, one of the dudes, one of the black dudes that came on her husband's stream. They connected, and she started to flirt with the dude that debated her husband, and eventually that developed into a freaky ass sexual relationship that was done completely behind her husband's back. So John. Yeah. I'm asking you, what are your thoughts on this? I don't fucking know. It's their own personal business. True. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa, babe. Babe. Okay, True. Okay, Good job. Shut the fuck up, Steve. Good one, Harley. Steve, you're good as okay. shit, bro. Okay, evil fossil. You know what I mean? Talk to me. It's some deep and rips on shit. You already know it, bro. We've been listening to Lauren this whole time, try to always appeal to authority, appeal to some social construct or group of people that's going to let her get away with her debaucherous behavior. This shit is the same way, all right? She, you know you know she was up in there getting that demon whore validate. Oh, sorry for my language. Getting that validation from that situation. And I'm pretty sure it's not completely fabricated, so I'm sorry. But at the same time, True. that motherfucker Hunter Avalon was probably some just as much in debaucherous shit. All right, he probably got way more control over what is said and what's done in that relationship. So I'm not gonna sit there and act like he ain't deserved what was coming to him, especially if it's out there. Most of the time on the internet, it is what the fuck you deserve if it's out there about you. But if you want to sit there and say that she's valid for doing that kind of shit or putting those receipts out there, nah, that's some disgusting shit, and it's some shit that only the Snow Bunny White Demon gonna do, bro. Wait, she leaked it herself. She leaked it herself. No, the black what? dude, one of the BBCs leaked it. One of the BBC oh, council I'm pretty, bro, I'm, I, bro. Jesus you telling me Christ she ain't have no word on that, bro? You really think that she's sitting there like, oh, oh my God. These, these black men who pissed on me. I wasn't talking about my, my cook ass husband when I was getting that shit done. Bro, you know she was milking that situation for all she could. Mm. Job. I, I'm curious about what Canute and Gru think about this. Uh, to be True. honest, I don't fucking care about all these people's <laughs> personal life. They can it's do whatever that, they yeah, want. Like, what the fuck, bro? If they, uh, well, for not my life, not my wife, not my marriage. Whatever makes no, them happy. I just feel bad for the guy, happy, bro. What and, uh, the fuck? If it's true or not, isn't uh, my uh, my business to judge anyway. But uh, I would probably understand why I would uh, divorce if it is a true story on. If he did enjoy that in his relationship, uh, it isn't more to say. Like, who cares? People do this every fucking day, everywhere in the world. So it is, yeah. uh, for me, pretty normal story. Well, now that he's single, my my ex is single. I can give him his contact if she wants to marry. Vec if he oh wants to know this. Okay. I know I'm not allowed to ask you, but this reminds me. I just finished watching some bullshit true crime about some TikTok stars. Seeing TikTok videos here reminds me. About some dude who literally did kill his, he killed his um wife and he killed his like wife's us uh, other no. because he was on the he he listened to the baby monitor and he heard R B music so he rushed home and he found them and he killed them. It was a TikTok star who it just shit happened like two years ago, bro, and he's going into trial right now. Um, and there's actually people in his audience who support him who's like, bro, if my wife did that to me. I, you can't blame him as a man that he should come home and kill and, and just cap them because he literally came home and just ended both of them. And he was talking about um because he plays Scarface all day and he's like mad violent and he and he makes TikTok saying that if he catches wife with his girl, he's gonna he's gonna fucking kill him. 
and he literally now killing them, wait, son. Like, so... <laughs> he made TikToks wait, previously. Well, wait, 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 wait. So he was, was a man. So what... At least he yeah, was that, Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Is he, like, was he like a man of his word then? Yeah, he was a man of his word. So if that's yeah. the case, should, should we take extra agency over people who play with these kind of fucking shit? With this kind of shit? Should you be looking at this situation where this dude, he's literally in a situation where you don't know, bro. He could skits the fuck out. And blast his wife. Shit, shit. What? Um. He he literally manifested it. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this a good thing? What the fuck? No. Is this something that we should be socially aware? Of? I mean, I, I mean, we should just. Uh, don't you think that we, you know, you should just divorce them instead of, you know, end up in jail for killing them? Hell yeah. Yes, I think you should. People can't yeah. control their rage. Yeah. I mean, that's the problem. Is we've 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 got this society where, especially men, especially. Have not been con have not been taught to control their rage or in many cases be held accountable. And when mm. you get that kind of culture of people, you know, not being told to control it and not being held accountable, then you just get a lot of this. But not That's only because, that, on the internet, people are actually edging him on and supporting him, especially you go on the internet. There's yeah, there's a there's sector of people everywhere. People. I, I'm up yeah, I'm upset about it too. About but it if you look I mean, look look at the pre presidential candidates, and I'm not going to get into one side or the other, but I think there have been presidential candidates in the recent decades who were horrible, and yet still had people behind them. Because some people, there's just, you know, you got to take maybe 25, 30% of the population, you have to understand, are low IQ people. And I'm not saying they're dumb or they're worthless, That's but they don't have the intelligence to make some of these higher end moral decisions and are easily swept up by religion or sports or uh, extremism or whatever you have it. Some of these this large portion of the population just looking for somebody to follow. Listen, here's the thing. Honestly, I think violence is a necessary thing for humanity, but I, I think that you need to find an outlet. I honestly think that everybody in the world should learn how to fight, should learn how to control those emotions. We've all heard it, right? Martial arts is amazing for the kid who is like hyper aggressive because then he learns to fight, like he finds out what happens if he crosses a line, he also learns how to control himself. He learns how to breathe, how to do all these things. I think this comes from people not working out, not training, not fighting, not doing any of that. And in their mind, they just keep thinking, I'm such a fucking badass. I'm a monster. They, this, learn, that, and the other. they learn, they learn and resolution, then, conflict resolution yeah, by fighting. Yeah. Exactly. They don't learn how to, how to um, fix these issues. They don't learn how to get it out. So they just well, it doesn't explode. have to be fighting, but fighting is a very effective way oh, for most people to learn conflict way. resolution. But there are other methods, but that's a very good method of, of it. Course. Yes. Of course. Not only that, but um, Big Bully. This is, I guess there's a lot of people online who also might agree with that bully needs to be brought back. Um, people should be bullied, uh, especially when they're online talking, uh, you sure. know, supporting, yeah, supporting ridiculous shit or... Um, being like, oh, it's the internet, and thinking that there's no, there's no recourse or there's no um, repercussions for behaving this way. For, what like, do you mean by that, bullying? Here's, here's Doesn't the that thing. go with the like the sending an audience towards someone? No, I mean We're like talking about uh, real life, real life, okay. real life, right? real life. Listen, but if here's you the thing. Online context, I will be referring to not sending the audience. I mean, like an audience is um, vetting people who are too. <coughs> Just, who, who's just fucking doing it for laws, bro? Like, Listen, here's the thing. Like, who, go I've, for it. I've, I've seen this shit happen. Guys know where the line is. Girls no, usually nah, don't. Nah, you're bugging. Guys, nah, hold nah, on. You're wild, nah, you're bugging. Guys, no, no, you're bugging. No, you're not here. You're not here. You're not here. What I'm talking about. No, bro, what I'm this, this dude, this dude on. literally killed two Evil. people. He killed two people, and there's people on his TikTok Evil. saying... Evil. That it was okay, and that Evil. if any other man was in that situation, they understand, bro. Those people who say that shit get slapped the fuck up. No, them that, yeah, exactly, 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 exactly. Exactly. That entirety, exactly. Bro. exactly. That's what the bully I'm Listen. talking about, man. And Evil. those, no, are, hold on. Hold those on. are men, bro. Men, them niggas. Evil, evil. Mind, let me, let me. Listen, back in the day, back when I was a child, I knew if I said some fucked up shit, somebody was gonna throw something. Right? There was gonna be violence. I knew that. So now, as a grown-up, I don't just walk up to people and say heinous shit, right? You literally I know do. There's gonna you be do a scrap going. You do on this fucking going. podcast. I've watched the episodes. Yeah, you, you fucking say heinous shit all the time.
time. There's a difference. Yeah. There is no time. difference. No, that's the whole point. We are all live right now, bro. Stop talking about real life, bro. What are you bro. talking about? Like, Hold literally, you're talking about this I'm right saying, now. With, I'm saying about, the guy who killed right his Right now, wife. with should be bullied, or people are in a situation where they act in a way I'm that saying. should be conducive to be bullied. I'm saying hey, as a heads up, we have a vote bullied. started. We are at the end of this round. There's a vote started, guys. <laughs> Good that luck. <laughs> this is an important vote, guys. We're coming down to the wire. Six people left, okay? Vote for who you'd like to keep on the show, not kick. Well, you guys didn't all have kick. to Kick.com slash Carantos. We're currently live, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, remember... Twenty dollars and above your questions get asked on street. That's kick.com slash Q O R A N T O S Mini. Talk mm. to me. Talk I'm to us. Or, or else Listen, you're about you know you're I about know. to be like Dude, the only this contestant question, ever bro, that I'm just sorry. like know, know, constantly every single round was like at the bottom two. You know that? Let me let terrible. me cook. Let me cook. Listen, the thing is Nah, man, I should have kicked your ass, bro. I took a lot of heat. I Hold took on, a lot evil, of heat to keep your evil. fucking ass around. Society bro. isn't used shit. to violence anymore. Society isn't used to. Hold on. Hold on. But controlled violence. I'm not saying you go overboard. I'm saying, think, dude, there's the scrapping that happens when you're a kid, right? You hit your how about, how about, it, you Can you be violent with language? Can you if be that, violent with of language? Of course. Of course. You can okay, say then. some heinous shit and it escalates. The problem is. Oh, no, no never, that's not what I mean. That's that not happen. what I mean. No, no, bro, we're online. When you never have that happen, because... you grow up. You bro, we're your online. It can never get physical, bro. Oh, it can oh, never get different. physical. Online, bro. It's different. I'm not talking about online. We are, we're we online, are nigga. So, yo, bro, yeah, so when your ass get voted out, go have that conversation with your white ass fucking wall, bro. Because the guy you're talking about this shit online right now, bro, when you're like you're out of context, bro. Okay, we're whoa, whoa, to... whoa, 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 Speaking, whoa, 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 whoa. Speaking online. of what we're talking about, who won the last hmm. round? Was it Canute? Me. Canute. Yeah. Well, we've got a new winner this round, and his name is Evil Fossil. Ooh, nice. Evil back Fossil. To back. back to back. It has you got been a, me and Evil Fossil, Fossil every round. You got a big decision to make. Okay. We'll You've got to choose, life. okay, between Mini Donby again and the TikTok fugitive. Good luck. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to be no, a little like bit more amicable this time. I'm going to be a bit more amicable this time, all right? I'm going to let y'all state your case. What you got? All right. Since I, I, I appreciate both of y'all. Lauren, I see you over there thinking you was going to get obliterated. All right. You safe for one more round. <laughs> what? Which question? Which question? Or is it just free form? Make your case. You choose. Make your case, bro. Listen, listen. I know I'm energetic. Okay. I know I'm a little bit of a schizo. I like to take the living shit out of you. All right. And I've got some good ass takes. My takes aren't that fucking terrible. Okay. I don't know what Mr. Dr. Egghead said about this topic. Did he even speak? Egghead been the to mad countries, bro. Yeah, bro. He been sl he sl yeah, yo, he's he's every a time he opened bro. his he was slaying, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You you just you just what? dug yourself into the hole. You know you out of here, man. Get the fossilizing well, I knew that. Talk, so I go let him go it. first. Yeah, so <laughs> look, you just slayed yourself. So he's Listen, tech. He so got the tech. He Basically, it's really between, between do you want yourself, somebody bro. kind of yelling at, in front of a white wall, or do you want somebody having a thoughtful debate, which I believe is polite and we can all take turns, so it really depends on what kind of demeanor you That's want going not, forward. That's not I, an idea. Since, since that other wrong. guy do I, no left. Do what? Sorry, since, that, many. Since, since that guy do no left, we can keep this guy one more round. Nope, because we're supposed to be kicking two people now, so. Wait, You're out of here, oh, Don B. Listen, nice to meet you, everybody. Oh, take care of yourself. Much love, evil. Knut. Much love, bro. Um, shout yourself out. Yeah, shout yourself yo, out. I'm Twitch.tv slash Mini Dumby, all right? An entertainer, one of the last few ones. Uh, I also I also got Karantos to stop playing League of Legends and to start fucking actually growing. But anyways, take care of yourself, boys. Much love. Thank take you for having me. See you later, buddy. Thank you for coming on. Uh, uh, Mr. TikTok. Mr. TikTok, how is it being old on TikTok? You know, it is a bit different. There are some of us there, but um, I'm going to put it up. I'm autistic. I'm what they used to call Asperger's. 
And so for me, you know, I just I've always blended in with pretty much any age group. When even when I was in, I was very young. I hung around with typically people that were in their twenties or thirties or sometimes fifties or sixties. So for me, age just doesn't quite have that differentiation. And if you've seen my TikToks, uh, <laughs> especially yeah, some you're of not beating the allegations, by the way. Please, when you say things like you know age, I don't care about this. I love being on TikTok. I mean, these guys in chat, you know, they they like to say a lot of crazy stuff. I'm just giving you a heads up, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, it listen, I, I deal with people play Roblox all day, so listen, I, listen, guys, I'm wanted by the FBI and Interpol for 17 years, there's nothing anybody's going to really throw at me that's going to, you know, not bounce off my skin, so. The reason why, I, because I have both, like, Twitch, Kick, uh, YouTube, and TikTok, and if someone comes up to me in the street, like, oh, I've seen you, I can spot them and see if they're, what platform they're from, or if they're from TikTok, or... Or on the streaming platform, because if they're 13 or less, mm -hmm. they're from TikTok. Yeah. If they're uh, 18 plus, it's Twitch. Mm -hmm. Or they're the same kind of YouTube, YouTube, uh, Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I mean, despite me being the TikTok fugitive, I am on other platforms. It's just that's it sounds better than the Twitter fugitive or the YouTube fugitive or you know the Instagram fugitive. Uh, catch me on my Steve. Face. But well, Steve, go ahead and give us the question. Oh, I was listening to these guys go. You know, they're doing a great job. All right, guys, listen up. Here we go. <sighs> I think everyone has been really calm this time. Uh, is that normal, Destiny? No. Uh, well, I don't have good questions. No. You guys fighting with each other. So, yeah, you guys need to rile it up a little bit. Evil Fossil, I need you to bring back some of that demon black man energy, okay, that you had for... I got, I got you, Neo Jesus. <laughs> okay, thank All right. you. Thank you. All right. Call the old man, man. Pornography and OnlyFans has been becoming more popular on the internet with both men and women increasing their pornographic consumption habits. Many people also find it pleasurable to use a toy while masturbating. Do you think that pocket pussies and dildos slash vibrators should be viewed the same in a relationship or is there a difference between one or the other? Would it make a difference if somebody had a custom molded dildo or pocket pussy shaped after a particular porn star or friend? <laughs> Oh my God! This is a nasty question. This is a nasty question. question. And it's up to you and your partners. That's all I'm saying. I to, okay, so women actually. Okay, so my cousin, she's the CEO of a sex toy company called um, Dame Products, and she's known for the Eva. And. Um, she talks a lot about how women actually do have a very difficult time reaching orgasm without the help of toys. So I don't think that women should not be able to experience sexual pleasure. And I don't think, I don't think that, that was the question. Are the exact it same thing. Yeah. That I don't wasn't think the question. You're not responding to the question right now. Right She's plugging her family <laughs> members. <laughs> exactly. It's out of, out of control. Well, right? I just don't see anything wrong with... Um, I don't see anything morally wrong with Rip helping spawn shit. In your relationship. Well, does Rip this quarantine mask qualify? How the much, question how was, much in your relationship are you sacrificing just, just giving up that agency to them fucking toys? How much? I mean, and I'm not saying this in a sense. I'm not saying this in a sense as if, oh, I'm a man. I need to have that responsibility. But it's there's so, so much. There's a it's large so percentage of women who don't know how or are incapable of reaching climax without the assistance of tools. Right. So we're not talking about. We're not talking about if it's, about if it's okay. We're, we're saying that if it's if it's okay to use both. Like yeah, if a girl has a vibrator, vibrator, should is it okay for the guy to have a pocket pussy? Yeah, hundred percent. It's sure. a toy. That's wild. And side question: Can you make? Uh, could your girlfriend go to her male friend and uh, make a copy of his penis and make it into a dildo? Would you be <laughs> or, yeah, no. or the other <laughs> way? <laughs> no, no. no. That's so okay. wild. I got a trivia. question. Bro, I've heard this line. I don't know, son. I, yo, women are saying no. 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 sexual no. jokes or fucking I don't sexual in the windows. I've heard that dick. Look like it belongs in the sex shop window, and bro, that shit was the most offensive shit I ever heard. Like, yeah, yeah. I do not want you thinking about my penis outside of the context of my body, bro. This is my wood. What is wrong with you, bro? You like, really wouldn't if, like if it was your wood. If it was my wood, for what reason? Like, there's for, no, uh, no, 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 no. For the girl, the girl that you're with, if she's like, "Well, you're not here, but I need you," like, I want you here. 
And she used that. What that wouldn't be a compliment? She's not saying that, son. She's remember? saying she wants to mold the mod. She wants this off, some, bro. Wait, no, like, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, just talking about, I'm, I'm talking about. Oh. I'm talking about your girl, not some random person. My girl, yeah, yeah. Your girl wants to be like, let me mold your penis so I can give it inside me. Getting that, getting that mood. I need you here, but you're long. Well, yeah, but that's you... a, but that's a, but that's not the same, bro. I don't think that's no. The but same. that's that's what I'm asking. Like, are you okay with that? Because if it's a stranger, that's what. Uh, unless, but if she ah, says okay, then go get a cucumber. You should be worried. What if, what if, she, if she do that and then I can? Mess with <laughs> well, she's like, I don't really need you. What if she's saying that and she's like, I don't really. I could just like. Even for yeah. there might be days she's fucking sick of seeing your face, right? Exactly. Right. <laughs> she don't want to hear that way. She don't want to hear about the nuance of dealing with. What if she does this? She says, "I." She, what if she identifies your uh, penis with the closest vegetable substitute, and she tells you which one it is? Oh, sorry, I, again, it's a squash. Are you a carrot bro, or a cucumber, bro. celery? Bro. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. This is I'm I'm just one trunk. This is a whole. You get the whole trunk, bro. This wood down here, you not chopping that off for nothing, bro. And I'm like, and then all I see this is is just like psychic, psychic circumcision or something, bro. Whatever you call it, son. This this. Psychic castration. Yeah, that's a better term, I guess. Psychic castration. Know. Yes, that's his What a part of you be like, right right now, right? you, okay. No, no, no. Like a part honest feelings. If a woman comes up to you, be like, I have your toy. I have you inside me, and you're huge. How would you feel? How would you bro. feel? Genuinely. <laughs> bro, genuinely. I'm if someone was like, I bought your bro. toy and you feel great. Listen, I'm not gonna feel good about it. I already told listen, I've gotten At this all? before. Yes, I've actually heard a woman tell me that my dick belongs in the sex shop window and it killed my shit, bro. It's not sexy, bro. You don't take it's that as nice a compliment? About, bro, but in context, bro, a woman don't know how to handle sexually appreciating a man, bro. You're not gonna feel appreciated for a woman having uh, a fucking material form of you to be used. When oh my, when they gatekeeping the sex from you in the first place. Well, why why don't we ask Lauren? Lauren, how would you feel? Would you would you actually compliment? Be like, hey, it's really nice. Perfect. Would world. I do that to a man? Would I buy a sex toy that's shaped like a specific man? Then call right. that man up and tell him I would not do that. You that's wouldn't. Not... You wouldn't take Hugh Jackman's molded penis. But you, but you don't think they put their phone would numbers in the side the of mold, them? Though. Would you do? Dude, you I got you one. I got it. I got it. I got it. Here, let me put it to you this way. I feel as though and now i'm not a man but i feel as though if the situation were reversed and a woman had a mold of my penis and they told me they very much enjoyed it, i feel like i would feel complimentary and i've heard evil fossil bring this up last kick or keep so it makes me think he actually does enjoy that compliment but he pretends oh like he doesn't or else he wouldn't continue look at that smile no it's so bad bro you no, got the biggest not, grin the on right now all right no the, i do enjoy the compliment but, but this is my point yeah, that's all that's all that's all but i would definitely ask the context, her, the context though bro i'm telling you there is no woman on this planet who's gonna make you feel good if they get in the situation where they do that like a woman in that situation, they're not doing it for no positive reason, bro. bro for no bro. reason that's going to reinforce you. Even you, John, when you said like, oh, it was my wife. And maybe she went to like Europe and she's just missing that slight shaping curvature, right? Like I, I get that. But that's not the case, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, that's but not you, the situation you're gonna end up having your dick molded from. But bro. then I have, it's then I have a follow-up question. Where you gonna miss out on more? <laughs> I, ha I have a if little follow-up question. Would you rather? Like. Would you rather have your girlfriend have a different man's? No. No, no it's not. I mean, it was it, it was for uh, Mr. Evil Forsyth. If what oh, it, a different man's? Yeah, I mean, Instead I mean, of, right, you, I mean, as long as it's not a to that listen, man. No, now, now, look, <laughs> look, look. I know motherfuckers about to come out here with that cuck shit, but look, a little bit of a variety ain't hurt, ain't hurt nothing, son. Bro. Right? So if I if I get more play because there's some plastic thing that's providing a little, you know, a little bit of switcheroo, then I don't know, bro. It's probably better than her going out on me. But. What if she mm, wait? If you get more play, is play? the implication that you're fucking other people because she's got her shaped dildo? No, it's that she got. If that if she ha, if she cares about the penis shape 
or something like that, right? Then obviously, if she's only having sex with me, she might get bored of that. But if she can have a different shape, that adds variety okay, question, to her situation. Question. What that's if what she I mean. asks you to wear a cock sleeve? Do you think that's okay? <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> Are you serious? Variety. It's variety. variety. Oh shit! Nah, you got me. Nah, you got me. Nah, you know what? Fuck. Okay, what? Variety so we talked about life. We talked about cock molding. Uh, Lauren, how would you feel if someone got a mold of your vagina? Oh, we're asking personal. The real, so, yeah, the real question. Let's get to that. I did not. Like the promiscuous type who would like do a mold of my vagina. However, if I were the type of woman who would mold my vagina, I suppose that I would want to sell as many molds as possible to be complimented and guys enjoy it. Mm. However, that is definitely not my jam whatsoever. And uh, I never do that, and I'm not really into the industry. But for ladies who are into the porn industry, why, why would they do it for to sell as many as possible? And why wouldn't they be like, Earth. oh, thank you so much if some guy came up to them, like if they were at porn con or something? And I don't know if that's a thing. Some guy was like, oh, I have your octopus here. That person would be like, oh, wow, thank I hope you enjoy it, you know? Uh, so, merch. <laughs> Damn, merch. Yeah, this this is a good know. question for the guys on this. For the guys, if 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 the vagina sleeve actually did say, because you know many variety, right? That's what like rare pills. If you want to give into that, right? Where like oh many variety. Would 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 um vagina sleeves suffice if they were like immaculate in design and construction? Like it gave you that sense of new play. You know, guys, I've been married over twenty years. I'm just gonna say, if you find the right one, at least me, I don't need no variety. I, I'm, I got enough variety yeah. with what I got. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's that energy. Yeah. You don't belong. This, here, they disagree. <laughs> so I see it in this face. <laughs> you about that heat this and say, don't worry, say. You got it. You got. It. How about you, John? I I, I need a woman. I need I, I I dude I need a woman I I can't do that pocket pussy one there's a ton of I grew up dude I grew up conservative Christian so getting me inside a like porn shop or anything like that is what about what about have you seen Dem it's Demolition Man you do you ever seen an old ass movie but I think mm -hmm. it's Demolition Man when they went there and they they sex is outlaws so they gotta wear the helmet and shit. And the no, dude, you're thinking of something different. That's not that's Demolition Man. It wasn't Demolition no, Man. What was it? Demolition Man was the one with Taco Bell. Wait, 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 wait. Hold was on. It? Wait, wasn't that Demolition Man? They weren't allowed I to kiss or exchange bodily fluids because that was all yeah. outlawed, right? Yeah, I thought that oh, was yeah, Demolition yeah, Man. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, who's yeah, in that yeah, movie? Who's in that and they have the seashells and stuff. I misheard you then, and I apologize. Wait, who's in that movie? Sylvester Stallone and um the lady from Speed. Yeah, no, I've seen that. That was a long time yeah. ago. On TV. Wesley Snipes, Wesley so, Snipes. Wesley yeah. Snipes. Yeah. And yeah, Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. So, so that shit, right? And then, and then you need how this motherfucker Sylvester Stone was like, no, nah, I can't do this. I need to get up in them guts, right? Like, would mm -hmm. you be the same? Like, could you wear a headset? You know, the AI is happening and shit, and that app and shit. You could put it on and have the full experience, bro. I right? don't want to condition that, bro. There, there's a limit to where you start like conditioning your mind and your body for that shit. To where it's like that's because you customize it to what you want, and then that removes you from reality. Mm -hmm. yeah, like that's were, what scares me about there's the all that shit. Part too, that you know, Chat GPT is just not going to give you that. And I hate to be the old man <laughs> in the crowd here, but it's not going to give you that lifelong intimacy you can get from a good marriage. It's not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, but that, I think that movie was an important question, right? I think that's a reality. If you did. If you did like grow up with the physicality, but if you never did, how can you tell the difference? That was the whole point. Well, of the look at look what Japan has a problem with right now. Hiroshima, mm -hmm. you're right. <laughs> Jesus, another really? problem. They have another problem. Gotcha. Really? I mean, technically, Bro. there are two of those problems, right? <laughs> <laughs> 54 Sorry, seconds, guys. Sorry. You better make your appeals. What about you, nut? <laughs> what about nut? You ain't say nothing. I uh, would be. Uh, I don't see the need for any pocket pussies, but uh, 
I wouldn't be against it either. <laughs> it's like a little bit who cares, <laughs> to be but honest like, as well. It yeah. is. Uh, I'm not morally against any sex toys. Uh, like this guy up on the right there that is uh, religiously... Uh, wasn't that what he said? Whoa! Whoa! Grown I said I came again. from that background. I'm not against them. I just wouldn't use them. Can you, you motherfucker, trying uh, to get me <laughs> reading a little bit too much uh, in between the lines. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, I see you. Just because I'm skinny. This is bones bomb. Right. No, but to, for for your side question, Destiny, I would not be comfortable. Let's say my new friend up here. Evil fossil or something. If my girlfriend wanted to uh, make a penis from him, I, I would be a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, it was just a random person I used in a, as an example. But if you're just buying one at the store, that's fine. I wouldn't be uncomfortable at all. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, and the problem y'all forget down to the bottom of the Caribbean. They use them for voodoo. For voodoo. They use dildos for voodoo. I, I'm sure they do. They use everything for voodoo. We what call it juju do? in this part of the Caribbean, but... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the round is over. You can find the show poll in Kick Chat. Also, quick heads up. This round is double elimination, so the two contestants that are at the bottom will both be eliminated. Bro. Uh, don't, uh, don't ask me why that's happening. I think it's very fucking obvious, but, you know... It is what it is. Wow. That means this is a really important poll, guys. This is the most important poll of the entire show. Okay, so... I, I think the audience is sick of voting for me now. Because I'm so boring on this show, so not screaming enough. So uh, I will probably <laughs> end up at the bottom soon. Take your shirt off. Uh, you the straight man. <laughs> <laughs> straight man. Don't worry, man. Yeah, can you... You're you're there. There. People like you Destiny. on the internet, motherfucker, though. You, like, help people. So you're gonna win. Well... Destiny's community said they were going to keep me to the final just to uh, make me suffer through screaming, but it hasn't been much of it, so I'm fine with this. Yeah. We'll bring more screamers for the next show, okay? Yeah. Listen, sometimes the change of pace is okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it was nice. It was actually nice listening to this conversation now uh, when it was a bit fewer people and no one was screaming and everyone was polite and uh, waiting for its uh, turn. Cringe. We need more screaming. Don't worry, we'll get there. Okay. <laughs> Listen up, guys. This new can just mix in. We're coming to the end of this poll, and I'm going to have to say, wow. We have three people moving on to the semifinals, guys. Three people moving on, okay? <sighs> Firstly, I would like to congratulate you, Canute. You're moving on to the semifinals. Congratulations. Also, John C. Stout, I would like to congratulate you for making it this far, but this is the end of the line for you. Oh, oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a piece of shit. Too. I am so sorry. <laughs> God, the can you tell? <sighs> Surprisingly, Evil Fossil. <gasps> it looks like you also are not going to be eliminated this round. You made it to the semifinals. Congratulations. <laughs> And then I am so sorry. <laughs> I've just received word <laughs> from the DOJ, the CIA, the NSA, the FBI, TikTok fugitive. They finally got your number, and you are eliminated this round as well. I am so sorry. <laughs> Evil Fossil, Knud, and Lauren De Laguna will be going on to the semifinals. Um, thank you very much, John and the TikTok fugitive, for making it this far. If you guys want, you can shout out your socials, whatever you want. Go for it. John, you first. Okay. I'm um, live on kick.com slash John C. Stout. Check me out on YouTube. Uh, and that's about it. Gotcha. And TikTok Fugitive. Yeah, the TikTok Fugitive on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, of course. And the uh, website, alexisnotmissing.com. Okay, thank you for coming on, guys. W TikTok Fugitive and John. Have a good evening. Both All right. You guys. Have you guys. Nice meeting you, yo. Have fun. Peace Good out, luck, everyone. See you. Oh my god, you're making me drag your guys out. Fuck, Jesus Christ. Hold on. Oh, I thought that, 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 that was the protocol, <laughs> yeah, bro. I got you. Hold on. Just fucking there we go. There we go. Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you're terrible at this. Now <sighs> now I feel awkward. What the fuck? All right, you three. Wow. <sighs> Wait, stop. You you started it at like, you know, it's not 30 minutes, right? No, don't worry about the timer. I got a timer under wraps. Four, right? don't We're forget good. bones. Okay. 
Just gotta make sure. Three of you guys left. Are you guys ready for another killer question from our friend Q? Q. Go. Huh? What? I thought you okay. said you really wanted the question here. Yeah. I, I did not say that. I actually did not say that. Uh, okay, <clears throat> guys, this is a question that is very, you know, near and dear to my heart as a... Uh... Wait, is, do you feel strongly about this question? Otherwise, I can ask one. N no, 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 no. Th this question is one that I really want to get off my chest. You know what <sighs> I mean? He's going to ask about fucking nine-year-olds again. God damn it. No, no, no. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about Lauren Southern. Guys, uh, you know, do you, okay. <laughs> okay, so, ladies, or lady and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on taxes? I, I wanna know, do you think taxation oh is theft? Do you yes. think taxation is theft? This, or is it necessary is to keep I'm society functioning? For. No, okay, but as a man, ahead. listen, as, as, as a man as coming as from the fucking place in the world where we have the highest fucking taxes and everyone when i hear american people speak about norway like this fucking heaven where everything is just fixed and it's so nice your taxes are being used for only good things those people are so fucking un uneducated and has never been to this place there's nowhere in the world even in even america wasting in the, uh, everything they get in on uh, their army it's, it's not even as bad as it is there. Jesus Christ, we're using it on... We're fucking using it on stupid stuff. I recently made the switch from taxpayer to tax consumer, and I could say it's it's pretty nice on both sides, honestly. It's pretty nice, bro. I could... Yo, would you try to ask me if I appreciate my EBT fridge? Is that what you want? I don't know. Should I be paying taxes? Is it theft? No, I don't think it's necessarily theft, but I do think that there should be a lot more oversight, especially in America, about where them taxes is Wait, going. Fossil, what's EBT? I don't even know, bro. I just know it's food stamps. It's, I don't, what, what EBT stand for? Electronic benefits? Something? I don't know. Wait, wh money. Why, do, why do you need bro. fucking food stamps? Don't you got money? or Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I threw all my money at Destiny. What are you talking about? <laughs> No, oh, yeah, you gave him four thousand dollars. Yeah, my bad, I forgot. Yeah, sure. nah, but bro, when I was paying in New York City, look, I'm gonna feel big about taxes. Why? Because in New York City, you got three taxes, motherfucker. All right, you got state, gov, federal, and city. They actually got city tax too, bro. And it's like, sorry, I really only seen like fifty percent of my check when I had it. Cause pull out the receipt and show you too. But right now, sir. Um, in certain in certain countries, in certain states, at least in the United States, um, I don't know, bro. It's too many. It's too many incentives to for different people to live in certain uh, situations. Like for me, Wait. being poor, it's actually if I can get away with living in New York City, bro. The amount of benefits I afford for taxes is kind of obscene. But if I was to live in like somewhere like Florida, you know, I would probably be a lot better. I do want to live down there. I'm not spitting no shade to any Floridians around here. But I would like the fact that there's no state tax, bro. Or is extraordinary. Wait, what, what? What? Like, out of every like hundred dollars, like how much goes to taxes? Were you? Well, like, like this you know, question I, goes to all of you, by the way. In New York City and LA, that answer is like fucking like forty-five more, cents. It's fucking yeah, it's like insane. 45, yeah, it's like forty-five. It's like forty forty. Damn. Bro. I, I, I can uh, be a little bit more serious in what I answered. Like, it has to be more balanced than it is here. I can't answer for the United States or anywhere else in this world. But uh, a country like Norway that has been, has gotten so insanely much money through oil compared to how many people live there. The biggest issue here that is that politicians, they don't know what money is anymore. Any it's like they, they're just throwing money at things. People are now leaving the country. Like the the people that are creating more wealth, that are creating value in Norway, are leaving the country with their money, which creates less work, less uh, creation of value, everything. They, they are leaving because they, it isn't possible to be here for them anymore. That's that's the reason their companies are going bankrupt because uh, they have to tax so much if they don't leave. If uh, 
take one of you would live in the United States owning a company in Norway. You would by that avoid a lot of taxes on your company that is based in Norway. So it creates a system where it is beneficial to not live in Norway mm. when you're a company owner in in the, our country. I'm, I'm uh, this isn't my best uh, language, but uh, if you understand. No, that's great. Uh, that and that is a problem, and this is starting to become a big issue. So there has to be a good balance. Obviously, taxes is needed to to uh, use to be used for what's needed, like infrastructure. We can talk about the healthcare. I know a lot of people are against that, but I I think that is a good thing. School, uh, basic things. It should be used for that. But when it comes to all the waste that is just being thrown out there, that it isn't creating a, a good thing for anyone then i think they should be holding back and keep it as low as possible to um, to have the the needs or or pay for the need the things we need well what do you think the government should be paying for like do you think if somebody is starving the government should be paying for their food i think they rather should have a better welfare system like we do here where it be, they're being picked up a little bit before they're starving. So it should come before that. So like, do you think if somebody doesn't have a house, they should be provided with housing? That's how it is there, yes. So I, I don't think that is a bad thing. The only issue is when... Another issue that comes when, you, when it is like this uh, is that... It it isn't um, what is the word I'm looking for? It wouldn't be beneficial for them to start working. So that, that's another problem right. that's going to create. Because yeah. after for, for for a lot of people that lives here on the welfare, if they started working, they would lose money and maybe not being able to afford the housing that they are getting for free now. So, so it all has to be balanced. A, right, I would imagine your system, first of all, as you said, it disincentivizes people from working. And then furthermore, it incentivizes people to actually move out of your country if they're going to be starting a business. So therefore, they're going to, the country is going to generate less tax revenue because all of the companies yes. are leaving. And then so you have less money going into the system, more go money going out of the system. And then the system keeps incentivizing such um, Which, uh, again, uh, makes that so that those who are left, the middle class, those who can't afford moving out, the poorer, will have to pay even more to finance all the social programs that is there. No, you think that in your country, they're spending your taxes effectively, at least on the um, personal benefits? Absolutely, uh, absolutely not. In what ways do you think it should improve? Like first the housing, all, in terms of like housing, healthcare. Uh, I, I don't think that is the first thing they should. The healthcare system could be way more effective. It isn't always the person that has worked on a, a part there or worked there the longest that might be the best leader to take over the job after <laughs> after the former uh, leader of uh, what, what? Is that I, the system? Like, is it just based off seniority? Uh, in, in not only not on the top, but when you go down further down the system, it's a lot of that. Yes, but I don't think that is the first thing I would have uh, ended. It was more all the just throwing money out on different uh, cultural things, statues everywhere, stuff like that, which only politicians provide money for to like. To be able to say afterwards, like we created this. Like there's a culture how there's a diving tower one kilometer away from me that was um the budget was three hundred thousand dollars. It ended up three million dollars. And yeah. it, that is like that is a normal normal thing here to just if they have started it, they will finish it no matter what. They just under uh, make the budget smaller than they know that can uh, be able to do it and that we have started so we have to finish and just throwing money out yeah, wait Knud, i have a question yeah. wait one, yeah. one second can do you think that taxes should be lowered for the rich in norway for everyone okay 
Interesting. All over. I think one of the yeah, specific should... problems in Norway was the um, the raising of the wealth tax, which I think is probably a shitty type of tax to have. But I think in Norway that was the one that yeah. they started to bump up that a lot of like super millionaires and billionaires fled Norway Norway over. Yeah, I think they lost the tax revenue for uh, bumping up that and having it as the one of the highest in the world. Do you have any politicians that are obviously lining their pockets? Most of the politicians here do a lot of stuff, and uh, not, not, not this wealth tax uh, isn't necessarily it, but it's pretty normal for the politicians in Norway to go out, hand out money to different things in the world, like United Nations or what they think is good, to get better jobs when they're finished. Because uh, as politicians there, because a prime minister in Norway makes less than two hundred thousand dollars a year. Right, but have you noticed? So, so they don't that, make that much. So, so they, like in job. America, there's certain politicians that are exceedingly wealthy despite having politician jobs that don't pay very much. So you wonder how they make all mm -hmm. of their wealth. And so people they're, they're, assume. Do you find well, there are people... some, but uh, not to the same degree as it is in America? Okay, to be clear, this is not the case in America. That is not true. But yeah, yeah. Look, if you want to uh, talk about the botcherous tax taxation practices, bro, New York City. All right, New York City. This place and the type of projects, all these city ordinance ordinances and all of this stuff, or you know, uh, how they extract wealth from the populace through, you know, tickets and all of this stuff, bro, is so debaucherous. And honestly, um, the money is spent carelessly without remorse. There's people who sit around and they're living pretty nice, actually better than a lot of people in some red states. Um, and they poor living in Section 8 housing with like $5,000 on their EBT card, bro. Like, it's, it's honestly ridiculous out here. Um, and... I don't, I, I, bro, I don't really see, like, I don't think taxation is theft. I, I mean, not, I mean, theft, right? But in certain places, I feel like um, they're created as hot spots or places to allow for policies to be passed that they will use in other places um, that it might not appear so debaucherous. For example, like um, construction work, right? There's a lot of, um, a lot of construction companies, and I come from blue collar background, right? Where what they will do is try to actually stall the project long enough so that in the next year they can get more out of the tax budget. Um, so they there's actually an incentive for construction companies, especially stuff like the Department of Transportation, to not handle um you know um projects in a timely manner. And that kind of stuff just got to go, bro. Like, there got to be some sort of oversight for that kind of thing. Hmm. That's, that's I think something that's really be, um... difficult to resolve, like the whole construction aspect, because when you talk about what the government is responsible for paying, like, is the government responsible for providing everyone at the house? That's debatable. Healthcare, that's debatable. Food, that's debatable. But... Road construction, that's not really debatable. Like the, the government is responsible for basic infrastructure and for defense of our country. So when it comes to corruption with construction companies, I, that's a difficult one to resolve. It's yeah, really because, yeah. Resolve. But so do you think construction companies should like, because right now the way it is, it's like job bidding, right? So a, co a company will go to the government and bid for a job. Right. That's how it gets it out, right? Do you think it should, or do you think the government in themselves, almost like the military, should have somebody that handles it themselves? Yeah, I don't know. There, I agree. There needs to be some sort of oversight, but unfortunately, it's like the government does a lot of internal oversight, which never, you know, they never find anything wrong with their own dealings. So, um, I don't know how you, it, with capitalism, that's the thing with capitalism, because literally the government is socialism. So with capitalism, you have, if a, okay, I saw that destiny, but if you see, 
you have the competitive markets. And so if one company is acting corrupt, you wouldn't be promoting that company with your dollar anymore. But with the government, you only have one source that you could choose. And so it's hard to get that oversight or get that choice or punish them with your dollar. Doesn't the government um, literally bid for on competing private companies, like for our military industry, for instance? That's capitalism. But yeah, the bidding part is, but the having the government choose and having the government be able to you don't get to choose another source of government like, no but you like, you choose who's in government that's what voting is for yeah that's that's what voting is yeah exactly so that's i think yeah, that's it is necessary for, to be more like switzerland where they have more direct uh, democracy there is too much uh, I mean, a politician the... can uh, decide over a four-year period for it to be healthy Ain't the problem with that argument generally be because of the size of the country, it's a lot easier to get them, you know, to have that kind of place. I know Switzerland is supposed to be like the uh, the greatest fucking land to live in ever, right? As a as somebody who ain't ever leave my natural, powerful American soil as I'm a tree, I need to be uprooted. I, I, I really do think about and would love to go over there and experience those kind of environments, but um. Do you really think that the size or the, the population is doesn't come into play? I'm not sure. No, it absolutely be guys. The round is over. Congratulations for completing this round. Uh, it, was a, it was a bit scuffed towards the end, but we made it through. Guys, remember you're voting to fucking keep not kick. And we're only eliminating one person, obviously, this round. So Choose wisely. Guys, this is the penultimate vote, okay? If you were ever going to vote, this would be the round to do it, so. Uh, Throw those votes out. Yeah, my has to talk about taxes, man. You know, my, hey, what the fuck am I supposed to do about that? Are you wow. not going to leave? You've never left America? That's amazing. Why don't no, you? No, is it amazing now? Please don't say that to me. That's horrible. No, why don't you like, just drive down to Mexico, like, get a passport, go to Mexico? That's not difficult. I do got my passport, but, uh, since you wait, it's COVID. It was COVID, like, honestly. Like, I was planning on leaving. No, I was planning, but COVID really did ruin a lot of my plans, bro. Like, I'm hey. soon, all right? Soon. I'll, I'll be out there. I'll be out there. I was supposed to go on a trip, and it's been delayed to this summer, so now I'm going to go this summer. That's new. I do look so bored. I'm not. I'm just, my eyes are razor focused on this poll because it's neck and neck right now between <laughs> second, yeah. third, and first place. It is just an unbelievably, unimaginably close poll. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable, guys. You want to get your votes in here, okay? I'm going to be closing this in about a minute, okay? Because, oh my God, we're neck I'm and neck. I'm pretty sure. I say this a lot too, but yeah, you telling me that that's amazing is, uh, yeah, um, you know when i go and i talk to people like in social situations out there in the city i'm exotic bro because i ain't never leave this place so that like, people are like whoa like people for 20 years been living in new york city they think they new york city residents and i'd be like bro like you just as you just as a immigrator or appropriator as everybody else bro because being here for this long it's not it's not normal bro to be in New York City for that long. Unless you got old money and can stay. Remember <laughs> <sighs> that cat right now, Eva Fossil, farmer and LSF clip. What? Throw that cat. No, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't say it. No, 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 no. Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh my God, that actually scared me. <laughs> Destiny, tell us a participant in this show to throw <laughs> the cat. Listen up, guys. Easy clip. <sighs> Hedonistic we are approaching the final round, and it looks like our votes are conclusive. Wow. So I want to say all three of you have been amazing competitors, and it's been fun. <laughs> it looks like Lauren De Laguna, you are out of here. You are the last place person. I'm so sorry, but it was close. Okay. <laughs> Evil Fossil and Canute. Alrighty. Canute. Well, I just want to say thank oh. you for having me. I had a great time and um, you could catch me on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter, Fighting with Xena. And um, yeah. Bye. Fighting with who? Xena. Damn. Right. Xena. It's Nico's girlfriend.
You know what I mean? Sneeko, uh, little Steve's best friend. Which one? That's Sneeko the only about me because he was hoping for uh, cre recreating that old arguing we did back in the days of the Austin show. I'm pretty sure. But it isn't. Uh, this topic is a true series these days. That's never would have been cancelled uh, <laughs> in seconds. <laughs> we went in like we did before. All right. Well, now we're in our final round. What do we do with these two guys? Q? I, no. no, no, you did this oh, shit last God. round. I fucking yeah, came out of clutch. This all on you. <laughs> okay, first of all, I just want to address, and I don't want to take away from the contestants, so I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh oh. Oh, you fucking retarded, inbred piece of shit, fucking slow, dumb, fuck anal birth retards in chat that are talking shit to me. First and foremost, none of you would show up if you felt the type of way that I fucking feel. None of you would fucking show up if you were fucking about to vomit all over the place with a fucking fever and a headache and fucking coughing with a sore throat and can barely fucking stay up. None of you bitch ass retarded ass niggas would fucking show up. Okay? So shut the fuck up. Quit your bitching. Nobody gives a fuck about who you are. Nobody cares about your existence. Your mother doesn't love you. Your brother doesn't love you. Your sister sure as shit is embarrassed to even introduce you to her friends. Your teachers despise you. Your fucking classmates don't want to be around you. You do not matter. Your life is forfeit. Please find the nearest fucking bridge and go backflip off of that shit. Uh, Evil Fossil, Canute, I congratulate both of you for making it to the end. Evil Fossil, obviously, 550-year-old fossilized tree. You know what I mean? I, I, I believed in you. You know what I mean? I believed in you. Okay? That's number one. Number two. Up, let me throw some shit. Okay, uh, uh, this this show was supposed to be five people that I brought and five people that Lil Steve brought. <laughs> oh now, the last two contestants, I brought Evil Fossil and Lil Steve brought Canute. Okay, so guys, you know what to yeah. do, number one. Yep. Number two, nope. uh, I, yep. just wanna put, I, I just want to put it out there real quick, uh, Canute. You know, when I go yep. to bed, I, like, I, I keep your stream open because I don't like to sleep oh, in the you. dark. You know what I mean? So it's like the perfect stream to keep open. Okay, not glazing. You feel just, safe. Just the truth. Yeah, you feel safe. true. Yeah, I like <laughs> when you play Rust or when you react to videos and you're eating your protein food. I didn't even know you retired from bodybuilding. When did that happen? I decided because it it is so much injuries and and now I like to just go and train for uh, enjoying it instead of having to fight for more weight all the time. It, it it is a bit better when you don't have to stuff yourself with insane amounts of food all the time and. Uh, mm. It's more enjoyable as an old man. No, that's one hundred percent understandable. Uh, you wanted to move to Austin, Texas, right? Is that still you know on the table? We're, 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 we're still we're, we're still working on it, uh, but everything takes so much time. It's back and forth with lawyers and. Uh, so you are actually like. Paper. We're working so on it at least. Okay. That's the, the, still the plan, but it, it might be. Since, since we have a daughter that goes to school, you have to do it in between every semester and everything. So I, I'm not sure when it will happen at, exactly, at least. It takes mm. more time than I thought up from. Mm. Evil Is Fossil. Talk. Talk to me. Uh, listen, I'm curious about something. What is your occupation? Nothing. Hikikimori. Wait. How? What do you mean? I've given it all up. Wait. I follow I follow the I followed the blessed word of my man Neil Jesus here. <laughs> and I threw it all at streaming. Wait, you donated four thousand dollars to Lil Steve. How the fuck do you not have a job if you donated four thousand dollars to Lil Steve? I mean I have one. It ain't like I'm skillless, bro. I got two degrees. And I've been so, so you do have a job then. The degrees don't no, mean that you got money in the bank. What, bro? It's called not being in the job or losing a job during COVID. All right, it's it's a recession, son. Some people just missed out. Some people lost out. And I wasn't too, you know, I'm in a comfortable position. I've always used my um. I just made sure that I invested all the money that I made to the point where you know I'll still look like this even if I'm broke as fuck. So you're so, telling me you had you had like a couple of jobs, you invested well, and now you have like a fucking war chest. I was a, yeah, I was a signal specialist. Yeah, I have a war chest that I'm spending. Wait, signal on specialist? My, what was that? It means that I can um 
control and maintain the signal system for the trains. You know how the trains have signal light systems? So it's, um, in Chicago, it, only certain places use the signal block system. So it uses signals just like the cars use the, you know, lights. But for the, it's not the same kind of system. It's a mechanical system that's meant to actually stop trains and keep y'all motherfuckers safe. So mm. I maintain the train stops, train switches, and the signal heads, and also Wait, the is that, So I'm is an that, electrician. I got a question. Is that like a lucrative job? Hell yeah, yeah. Wait, how much um, are you getting paid? Forty-two an hour, sixty-two, sixty-four overtime. So Damn, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, I hit six digits easy every year. But obviously, I'm in New York City, so um. It got the, your mileage may vary, right? How, can I ask how is that compared to your content creator hourly payment? Nothing. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> nothing. That's what I say. EBT fridge, bro. I ain't making shit. So not yeah. I mean, you just started out, right? Streaming. Yeah, I just, like started. Yeah, I just started. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. still new to and this. And I used okay, it to good. invest in um, real estate. Well, my family's real estate, right? Like I paid off my mom's building. Um. So I made sure that at least I had shelter before anything. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. A lot of people don't plan ahead. A lot of people just fucking dive fucking into it and, you know, they don't have any backup plan and they fucking scuff the whole thing up. Canoot, when you first started streaming, did you have yep. like a job? Yes. <laughs> I, I was a student, first of all, but I worked uh, part time in a hotel lobby. I, I can tell you that is the most horribly paid job you can get in uh, this country, at least. Jesus Christ. Dude. Wait, you were a receptionist? Yes. Whoa, oh, like uh, a only... ass receptionist? Damn. <laughs> Every other weekend uh, night shift. Okay, but interesting. I, but I was, I was stu studying construction engineering at the same time. Wait, you so you wanted to be like a uh, construction engineer. So what's that? It's not like being an architect, right? Uh, well, not, not exactly the same, but you do more the, um, you do the physics if the building can actually handle uh, different types of loads, wind, uh, how much insulation is needed to uh, keep the, or to follow the standards. Okay, um, but you could, you could do, uh, you could do some of the Colorado same work. Bastards, bro. Wait, I assume, mm -hmm. I assume you don't have like another job right now and streaming pays the bills. Right. Yes, like no, I uh, I stream three hundred hours a month, so I wouldn't have time. Wait, how many hours is that a day? Uh let's see. That is three hundred divided by thirty. That is ten hours in Damn. average a day. Damn. Okay, so uh, that should wait, I'm cu I'm curious about this. Oh, like, do, does your deal have like a cap on it? Uh. I, uh, I stream on both Kick and uh, Twitch, so I haven't been streaming that long on uh, Kick, but no, Kick doesn't have any cap. Uh, so you don't have an hourly cap. You could stream however long you want, and you'll always just get paid. Yes. Okay. Interesting. I, I actually did not know that. Okay. But, but, I don't me... have, uh, but I don't stream that many hours on Kick. I, I have had most of my hour, hours on Twitch. Even though you don't stream that much on Kick, you make more on Kick than you do on Twitch. Uh, no, no, per hour. It, it's more okay. uh, that the hourly payment from Kick is more than the ad revenue for one hour on Twitch. I mean, isn't that because you know most people use ad block on Twitch? Oh, what do you think about the new Twitch TOS? Does that make you want to just permanently move over to? Uh, Oof, the the thing is that with the the, the the first one they came out with when it comes to the advertising, I think that was a little bit hard, but it wouldn't affect most streamers. It would be only affect those who are doing video uh, advertising. Like if you're having a big show, you're showing a pre-recorded video. Most of the ads I do and having logos on stream would still be allowed, so I wouldn't be affected personally. Okay, interesting. It was a little Foss bit overhyped, the whole thing, if you ask me. It wasn't good, but it was a little bit overhyped. Well, even though they said, like, you know, affiliates can't, you know, multi-stream and they need to pay $25 to get out of their contract. 
Like, isn't that a bit crazy? But I, I will, uh, $25. Well, I mean, a lot of these... Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was only if you actually had made $25. To be yeah. honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean i mean a lot of affiliates don't have that much money to be honest you know what i mean and to have force them to pay to get out of their fucking contracts and to tell them hey if you can't fucking you, you can't fucking multi-stream hell you can't even stream on any other platform you're only exclusive to twitch but we're not gonna give yeah. you anything there's no discoverability if you're a small content creator like you're basically yeah. fucked on twitch like uh, i think people is, rightfully you know uh, the, the thing with that is, there has never been allowed for affiliates or uh, partners. It was those who are nothing they changed that for. Yeah. That you weren't allowed to sim simulcast. Like, if you didn't take the affiliate deal, or didn't take the partner deal. Like, um, Ninja, he, uh, he, um, he uh, quit his partner contract, or uh, terminated his partner contract. Didn't have any deal at all. There was people like him that refused to simulcast. Affiliates and uh, partners have never been allowed to do that anyway. I mean, they and used to be able to get away with it because nobody gave a shit, right? Nobody used to look for the people that used to break the laws. I mean, even if right now there's most fucking partners multi-stream or simulcast. Most of them do it, uh, but nobody would know. But I guess people are afraid losing. I mean, do you really care if you lost partner? Like, I'm just curious. <sighs> Right now, Twitch is my still my main income, so it would be a little bit bad because I have always had the seventy thirty, and I still have it. So it would be a little bit bad for me since I have most of my audience there. That's Kick bad. is still uh, small, so for me, so I would uh, care about that. Yes. Well, I thought they removed the seventy thirty for everybody, so you still have your seventy thirty. I still have my 70-30, and I, I Bro, still have color. it based on the... No. <laughs> no, but it still is... They, they just got out with new rules that uh, says that if you have more than 300 paid sub subs a month for three months, you will still keep or have 70-30 for the next year. Oh, they really don't want to let you know, like the guy in the next cubicle, how much he making, huh? No. But um, for... The, the, so so re, in reality, what they have done with the splits is that I have, for, for those who are the smallest creators, it's the same all the time. Because it has been 50-50 for affiliates, it has been 50-50 for the smaller partners who hasn't got the old contract. The only thing they have really done is for the biggest creators at this point, those who make more than $100,000 a year on subs, they get 50-50 after 100000 so, in reality, they have only punished the richest streamers. Canoe, I am the freshest, freshest baby you could ever experience when it comes to the streaming space. Do you think I should be investing in Twitch? I'm looking at it, and it looks like Twitch is doing pretty, uh, it's looking pretty ugly out here from my point of view. I think it, it still is the biggest platform. The only issue is the simulcasting, and, uh, I agree with uh, everyone that says that you should diversify your audience and get on as many platforms as possible to see where you have the best best growth. Like Twitch itself is a good platform. Uh, things there that they they work, but uh, as a as you're saying, you're a new content creator coming in and say, okay, I'll keep to just Twitch. I'm not sure. If I would do that in 2023, and I focus on streaming. Yeah, focus on streaming as a streamer. How yeah, should, what, I, is, what should I be looking at? I would have uh, done some Twitch streams and uh, multi stream to different platform on separate uh, times just to test out uh, what would you, uh, what audience you hit the most. So well, let's yeah. say when you're not on so Twitch, Twitch what? Uh, uh, um, I don't know. It seems like gaming ain't doing as good on Twitch as like hot tub streams these days, right? So like, where am I supposed to find myself if I want to sit there and play League all day? Yeah, listen, you're a good-looking guy. Why don't you put up a fucking hot tub in the oh, back? Oh, hot tub, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, 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 but the hot I'm tubs, it, there, there is, it isn't that much hot tubs on Twitch as people are saying. It's when uh, when the biggest streamers aren't online, it's 
less than 10,000 viewers in the whole category. It's like far down. It, it's more gambling. There's way more slots played on Twitch than it is hot tubs, so it isn't really an issue or a, or a big thing at all. It's, so it so why is Twitch? So why do Kick get all the heat for being a gambling platform when Twitch is the one who benefiting the most off of it? Uh, I'm not sure if they're benefiting more. It's pro that is because of the ownership that I'm pretty sure of. Yeah. So so Kick as a platform probably isn't the best place for gambling, huh? Is it? it depends on what uh, websites you want to gamble on. <laughs> since I don't know. Stake, I don't know about since crypto gambling is banned. I, I think it is because crypto gambling is banned on Twitch. But, uh, only more... Um, what, what is the word? More uh, of those web uh, sites that are based, for example, in the US. You can use them on Twitch. Or other countries, is it? Uh, I, I don't remember the words, but uh, those the are regulated ones. Uh, regulated ones, yeah. Correct. Yeah, but don't Twitch like have like a billion dollar deal with DraftKings? So don't they benefit it, from like gambling? They benefit from gambling, but I think that is Amazon that has the deal, isn't it? I'm I'm not quite no. sure about that deal, to be honest. So, Wait, I'm pretty sure it was like in partnership with Twitch. Stevie be, Wonder, it wasn't it like with Twitch? I'm wasn't confused. with Twitch? The DraftKings, no. uh, you know. I don't remember. You'd have to train and X, or I think Train was the one who was obsessed with all those deals. Like, who signed with what? Well, I don't remember. I think they signed with DraftKings or something, but I don't remember what it was for. I have no idea. Yeah, but it wasn't That's Amazon. It was Twitch. That was like the major flack I was getting when I was trying to select which platform I was going to be on. You know, I do look at Twitch because, of course, just like instinctually when I think about streamers or I think about the place that I want to, you know, be successful as a streamer, it will be Twitch. But now I'm sitting here and I'm seeing Kick come out um, and it's looking pretty like I'm I, I mean, maybe it is, a, you know, just Kick um, being new and having that ability, not having too much already invested so that they, they could play him out play themselves up as if they are a platform just for streamers. I'm not going to, um, you know, give that to them instantly. But I but I do see from Twitch, like, a little disingenuous ire coming from their representatives as to what Twitch's, uh, what Kick's intentions really are, right? And um, where Twitch's direction is going. No, where Kick's direction is going. So for me, um, as a new streamer, I've just been seeing much more prosperity and success looking at kick and dealing with kick um well well there's no doubt that kick is growing way more than twitch but twitch is still the absolute biggest uh, live streaming platform so it's, it's a bit uh hard to give any like you have to go there here or there but uh no it they are hard to for boy what yeah, kind of content you're producing as well? <laughs> oh, me? Um, gaming content mainly. I do do oh. art streams and philosophy talks. Um, but I'm I'm playing that game. I won't burn out. I won't play game. I won't play game. I think I'm pretty good at some games. So I do variety gaming, like League of Legends, Monster Hunter, Street Fighter Six, and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. And as you can see, I got this in TK and most of my art or the art that you see associated with my channel and stuff that I've done myself. So um, I do. I said I had two degrees. You see, I have a um, I do have an electromechanical engineering degree, but I did and I do have a passion for art. So I've done. Um, so that's why I do graphic design and animation. So love to draw and I love to do drawing streams. So uh, but it doesn't seem like. Twitch especially has ever been really that conducive to art streams, you know, um, or artists in general. So I think I'm those not... communities are really small on Twitch when it comes to art, art uh, communities. Game, gaming is still really big, but it's hard to come up as a new creator from the bottom. How about Creating a new community oh, in gaming? How about live streams? Because I also, as an NYC rat, I can also go outside and do a lot of, you know, live streams outside. How, which platform, or do you think 
it's uh, i think uh, that could be big on twitch you, you have seen there's uh, some people already doing it in new york city or has done it and they have been popping off so that that could be a bigger thing nice i appreciate yeah. your advice yeah it helped me out a little small what do you think destiny like you lo- am i correct in my advice to this guy that there are small communities on twitch about art stuff or that ufc would go big which one uh, both of them. What, what do you think of my general uh, advice here about the platforms? I have no fucking idea because I didn't listen for the last 20 fucking minutes of you fucking boring <laughs> Wake up! What about the random fuck? Wow! I went for you Ladies guys to watch the the final... We have the classic American oh. versus European, black versus white, good versus evil, and you guys are sitting here jerking off about fucking Twitch for 30 minutes. Unfucking believable. Okay. Hello, Maybe what? you should have led the conversation to a place where you wanted it to go, you piece of fucking shit. No, I'm okay How about that for starters? First of all, second of all, ladies and gentlemen, kick chat. The poll is available in kick chat. Final poll for the winner of episode five of kick or key. Your natural, powerful black American. Even fossil. State your case. State your case. Why do you think you should win? The people of the the people. From the fires in the abyss of DGG. All right. If you motherfuckers don't vote my ass up, I don't know what the fuck I'm going through. I'm just a helpless little sapling tree. Help me grow. Help the pando grow and expand on kick. Because I definitely think that my content and my language will flourish on kick rather than Twitch. Because you know, on Twitch, I've been on that shit for hours a day, all day, every day, son. You ain't never going to see no exposure over there, son. I just don't care about nobody <sighs> and nothing, son. But... You see, Kick has been reaching out to many different people, many different aspects, and I want to help get in on that. I will help support all my streamers and my brothers, but you gotta get it. You gotta get me up there for all right. You gotta get me up there first, and also, if I win, I can tell this motherfucking Destiny get fucking up there my ass from DGG chat, right? So I can get at y'all motherfuckers, bro. I won't be with y'all niggas, bro. That ass. I think that's about it. Okay, there we go. A vote for Evil Fossil is a vote for one of you. DGG of the year, trying to make it in the live streaming world. A rate from Lil Steve would be huge for Evil Fossil. Canute, uh, you want to state your case uh, why people should vote for you? Listen, I'm, uh, I, I feel like I've underperformed today. I've seen it in uh, Steven's face multiple times. That he has been bored to fucking death with my performance. <laughs> he was hoping for way much more. So I'm not I'm sure fine. if I'm I even listening. should just sit there. Okay. And... You guys are doing a great job. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if I should uh, sit there and uh, talk good about my uh, own performance of the day when I feel like that. But it, it has been a lot of topics that I really am disconnected from and I don't care that much about. So it is hard to make up strong opinions and be engaged uh, into them. But uh, okay, that's fair. I would be happy if I won. I would be really happy. It would warm my heart winning this. Uh, what was the name? Was Keep or Kick uh, on <laughs> Destiny's stream. Kick.com. That would be amazing and I could go to bed tonight feeling good about myself and I will stop by DGG chat more often and say hello to you guys because I haven't done it enough lately wow well listen that was great from both of you guys you guys have been great yeah. contestants today I'm proud of both of you you guys have come so far from since I first knew both of you Canute as a transphobic uh, hateful uh, bigoted Eastern European man or well North Scandinavian man and now you've come this far you've done your gym streams with Mizkiv OTK, and now you're here on my show in the finals. I'm so, so but, proud uh, of you. We, we owe them a gym stream from uh, Raj Royale that I promised your community. Yep. We'll get there. That, make, that made them vote for me instead of you. Evil Fossil, you've come a long yeah. way since being a borderline schizophrenic uh, weird dono guy who threatened to murder me and Dan, I'm pretty sure multiple times, uh, including on video with a machete. So... Uh, congratulations for you as well. Uh, nice job. I will say though, yeah. as we hit the end, congratulations, uh, Evil Fossil. You are the winner this time. You did it. 
โอ้ยมารอนโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้
Okay. Thank you. Have fun. Be careful, buddy. There we go. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Are you doing whatever podcast? I'll, I'll stream again tomorrow, so I'll let you know what I'm doing and update my schedule so you can see other shows I'll be on. But... All right. I love you guys. It's been fun. I'm going to host Evil Fossil. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.